Right. So, uh... Aw. Real fast. Guma, can you talk? I'm just going to do some audio balance here. I am saying things. Hello, Are you tis now? I. Ha, say again. Well, maybe if someone didn't interrupt me, I could say hello. Hey, everyone. Gaijin Goomba here. Nadine, did, please did speak. Okay. I am speaking. I am typing and I am speaking. It is hot. I am warm. It should be illegal for Canada to be this warm. Yeah, well, there's a house party going on below us and they're just not, they're just not insulating it properly. What? Uh, it's Gaijin Roomba. It's Gaijin Roomba. <laughs> uh, can you say the line? Can you say the line? Hey everyone, Gaijin Roomba here. No, no, no. Hi, just very deadpan. Hi, I'm Gaijin Goomba, and oh, 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 hi, I'm Gaijin Goomba, and this is Gaijin Roomba. More conviction. <laughs> hey everyone, this uh, is Gaijin Goomba. Uh, there you go. Now you're thinking like a shill. <laughs> Night uh, drive, and then thank you for the ones for the three month resub. Uh, oh, Thorndin, 2017, 3,000 bits. Will Monty release a campaign guide for 3,000 bits? I believe you'll I have mean, you'll, a, you'll have a Patreon with certain things you'll be putting up there, right, Nadine? Uh, well, I'm looking into sources for stuff like that. I, okay. I mean, you gotta pay more than three thousand bits. Uh, Thornton, uh, Thor Thornton, uh, thank you so much for the three thousand bits. But if you want to find out more information about that, definitely follow uh, Monty Glue on Twitter. Speaking of which, let's talk about Twitters and where they can find us. Guy Jin Roomba, with the H. Uh, where can they find you? You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Gaijin Roomba with no H. No, uh, that is that is Gaijin Goomba with an H. Mm. I stream every Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. U.S. Central. That would make it, I don't know, look up time zones. <laughs> Oof, that's, that's lasting a lot. Lasting a lot of, lasting. Guys, don't be alarmed, but the Roomba's talking to me. <laughs> 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 Vacuum noises. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. The sound of <laughs> sucking. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I didn't mean to know. What? There did, we go. Did we? Did he leave the call? Uh, did I? No, he's still here. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. It takes more than that to piss me off. Oh, it does. Does it? Does it? Okay. Well, where else can they find you? Uh, you can find me. You can find me on Instagram and the Twitter and uh, my channel on YouTube at Gaijin Goomba with an H this time. Uh, it's going. That's going to become very, very important after tomorrow. Right. I'll just put it that way. I look forward to see what you're going to be working on in your personal Twitch, dude. Yeah. Zito! Hi, you can find me at the twitch.tv slash Zito. You probably won't find me... I hope I can get this fixed tomorrow because apparently someone at my complex cut the fucking wires to the internet, so I have no net service at home. I am hoping to get that fixed tomorrow. You can find me there, and you can find me on uh, Twitter at, uh, what the fuck is it? Oh my god, <laughs> CZ Backlash. <laughs> you can also find Zito in my kitchen. Yes, I am here in the kitchen. I am drinking all of his beer and all of his and uh, all of his coffee at the same time. We also have uh, chocolate wine for you. No, no, for fuck's sake. No, I actually Chocolate. want to be coherent. No, no, I want yeah, to be yeah, coherent. Is this Kahlua mixed with next quick? Nadine. But Zeno, what about out. the beef jerky? <laughs> what about the beef jerky? I don't see it in my fucking hand, guys. And where's the beef a jerky? A real person. Go to my cabinet, top shelf, open it up, the bag is there. A real person. Um, please, a, a real... that's a job with the Roomba. A real person <laughs> buys, his, uh, buys his jerky by the pallet. <laughs> <laughs> uh... All right, guys. I'm, so, I'm sorry, guys, but I'm still here with the coffee and and the fucking uh, and the alcohol yeah, because that's literally saying, "Do you want more cigarettes with your pancakes?" What the fuck? Do I look like a Mary? Of course, I want cigarettes with my pancakes. And we got SF Cody with 145 bits. Thank you so much. And Nack Nackley Polly, 3,000 bits. Thank you so much, dude, for the support. Best part of my week. I think he might be referencing the beer and coffee, though. Which are, by the way, the two <laughs> things that'll run right through you. Through. We already need five bathroom breaks. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hold on. <laughs> for real? No, I'm kidding. I'm thank fucking you, kidding. Thank you, thank you Nackley Polly, for the 3,000 bits. And Snuggy Bum 5, thank you for the 500 bits. Y'all, some good bamps. The Ruby Eevee, thank you for the two month resub. Hey, guys, I got a new computer so I can watch and play stuff more than on a tablet, but like, but likes to freeze randomly. So I blame my any missing luck because I think I lent it out too much, so it needs to charge. And the Dark Town, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you so much, dude. Take my bits, making my week. Sadly, my players died in a D&D &D rip. What happened? No. 
Don't slap the guardsmen. That's a bad idea. Defective Sheep, thank you for the five-month resub. Well, Sir Fluffy, thank you for the three-month resub. And Lil Squishy, thank you for the two-month resub. Two As months in a row. Love you, door, The mage you, dies. You, you can find me here. <laughs> and and on Twitter, there. <laughs> With my name. For both of them. Shit, I can't see him, guys. And where is he in the house? Uh, I don't know, but the call is coming from inside the house. Fuck! Yeah, no, hi guys, I'm down here. Hey, just wave from down the hall. Oh, it's the room. Oh, it's the Roomba. Hi. <laughs> the Roomba with a knife just slowly comes towards you. No, Fuck! it has to be in it. It's duct taped to the head. <laughs> like it's not even like pointing towards you. It's just up. It's <laughs> gonna try and trip you onto it. Epam, thank you for the 13 months of support. It's incredibly kind of you. And K Blam C Dude, K uh, K, K Blam McDude, K Blam McDude. 500 bits. Thank you so much. Doomba. Oh, no, it's Gaijin Doomba. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Testa Ross, Ross a Dragon. Thank you for the four-month resub. And Workle 3, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. So, uh, apparently, the preview... There's a preview clip on Patreon for uh, the new episode of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, a couple of the people in the chat who are patrons of Team Four Star have seen it. Jason Coy, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Apparently, it's funny. Which I'm happy about, cause I wrote it. Gad Zooks. Gad <gasps> Zooks. You don't say. Yeah, yeah. Le gasp. Le gasp. The dark town. They got hey, your bits. Wait a second, here. Back. Did Monty ever pimp her stream out? No, I'm gonna get to her because she's writing the thing. Death Watch 2984. Death Watch. Thank you for the three month resub. Been a hell of a three months. A little bit. Vinitas, thank you for the bits. War of Shadows, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. And that ginger kid, thank you for the 500 bits. Let's be honest, Taka. If you were a Roomba, you'd be stuck in the bathroom like Monty was. It's true. Monty's Roomba got stuck in the bathroom. Oh no. Mm. Hello? Hello. 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 Monty, where can they find you? Are you good to tell everyone where they can find you? Uh, you can find me uh, at Monty Glue on Twitter, and you can find me on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue on Twitch. Tomorrow we're going to hopefully do some more Pokemon if Windows 10 stops destroying my computer every day. Mm -hmm. um, yep, yep. <laughs> ain't that the day. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's that's what I have planned. Uh, Paladin Bubbles, thank you for the sub. Samiha98, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Been waiting all week for this. Hooray for Wednesday. Thank you. Purple's Purple's Tea Dragon, thank you for the 500 bits. No messages. Okay, bits. I actually am going to go take that pee. Actually, Progborg, <laughs> here we go. You pop the cork and it's not even seven yet. Progborg, thank you for the five month resub. Script Daddy, thank you for the 50 bits. Uh, Sage the Omni Geek, thank you for the 1000 bits. It's my birthday, have some bits. Oh, birthday is a doodling D. Thank you. Happy birthday, Sage the Omni Geek. And r the Really Can 2020, sorry, the Really Can 2299, thank you so much for the Prime sub. The Great oh. Mexican Otaku, thank you for the Prime sub. And Probate, whoa, Unexpectables, 9,000 bits from Probate. Oh my goodness, Probate, thank you so much for the 9,000 bits and all hail the Bit Boss. All hail the old gods! The old gods give! The old gods give! The old gods receive! Thank you so much for the 9,000 bids, dude. Appreciate your continued support. And before I was streaming this, yes, I was playing oh, some more oh, Jurassic oh. Park. Did you have to hold on to the side of the uh, side of the, the table? Ooh, the, co the, the the alcohol has left me and the coffee's now kicking in. This is the stance. <laughs> you feel the warp of it. You feel the warp of it taking you. It is oh, a good pain. pain. <laughs> All right, real fast. <laughs> good. Probate again. Thank you so much for the 9,000 bits, dude. Otaku Fox, thank you for the five month resub. Rusty the Bronze, thank you for the 2,000 bits. Been a while since I saw the show live. Just sent my players to the Shadowfell. Hey, kids want to see a dead body? Thank you for the 2,000 bits, Rusty the Bronze. Script Daddy, thank you for the 1500 bits. No message to spits. Alpacas and top hats, thank you for the nine month resub. Three more months before one year. Woo! Three, two, one achievement, thank you for the 10 month resub. 10 months, baby! Green monster chasing, chasing in some. Thank you so much for the 1000 bits. First time here for a live show and Super Sandy Monster. Whoa! We got three subs here. Uh, six month, four month, 11 month. Jonah, TMS King 08, and Mikkel. 
and Night Driven N7. Thank you for the 510 bits. Woo! <laughs> it's time to begin video games. Up. We're not playing video games. We're playing tabletop games. Thanks, Center King. Uh, uh, do we have Gaijin here? Is he back? Oh yeah. We, we, I'm not here. We should really. Okay, we should, we're we should preface real fast. One, one of our members is not here tonight. Yeah, uh, Snake is dead. See now, he Snake, he's, he's fucking dead. <laughs> He fucking died, everyone. He rocked too hard. He no, did. You, there is there is a note called it's called the D note. It gives it casts death, and it happened. What do you, right. you heard? The, you heard the brown note. This is the death note. Uh, wait. <laughs> I could think of some other things that D note could be. <laughs> oh. All right, let's get started here. Who rolled? Why did you roll? I don't know, because I feel like being smart. <laughs> okay, well, you got a 13 on being smart, so, you know, that's unlucky. He knows Alrighty. magic. Alrighty. He knows magic. When last, when last we left our heroes, Tass the Cobalt Ranger, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Panic the Tiefling Bard, and Borky the Orc Barbarian, the party had tea with Bork and Solly at the Avon's Cup and learned more about the politics of the city. After bidding the two farewell, the party collected their new winter gear, except for Borky and Greckles, mm. and went back to their tavern. After making their way home, the party spoke with Louis Drog at length and made a huge discovery to his identity. After that, the party looked into health matters as many of their employees began to fall fatigue and ill. Enlisting Log's talents, the party discovered necrotic energies emanating around different beds in their employees' rooms. Promising to find a cleric to investigate the necrotic energies, the party then promised to go with Meryl on a winter outing along with Hofstrad. Uh, so when you guys wake up in the morning and, and make your way down, uh, it's, first of all, it's cold. Um, the second thing is there is a note on Panic's door saying that he, he had to kind of stay late for the, uh, the recital that he was invited to, which was Scarlet's recital, uh, and that he will catch up with you guys the following day. He just wants to sleep in. So he's I basically, like panic. yeah, he wants to sleep. So plus you get the sense that, you know, outdoor in the snow frolicking around really isn't his thing. Panic! It's time to get okay. It's time to get porky. Just puts his like Borky kind of sticks his lips up to the keyhole. <laughs> Task is not getting up. Task. Borky, I'm right here. Ah, jeez. Don't, don't, don't pull the scarbles on me. <laughs> don't do that. It's I already think she's magic. Maybe she. What are you talking about? She's right there next to you. Hey! Oh, come on! <laughs> come on, guys! Hey, so like Meryl swung by and told you to meet you out, you know, meet her outside the door of like the big city. She's at Tent Town, Western Tent Town. Yeah, Borky, we really do need to get. Doc Jessel's is here too. What? Oh <laughs> God, I gotta stop staying up so late play, uh, playing oh, games. Oh. Oh. All right, well I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna right. go. I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee for Mr. Borpington. Borky goes downstairs. Okay. For the sake of brevity, you guys were also interested in in, in getting a, a cleric to perhaps look into your uh, your little weird yeah. nonsense problem. Yeah. Um, I will say this, you guys, you get a nice breakfast uh, from Mr. Borpington. You get your beverages, warm beverages. Uh, Helga is still really tired. Um, and Task, you also get two potions from Willow. She seems kind of tired too. Um, as you guys go to seek out a, a, a cleric, um, the Hokep clergy is devoid of any clerics. There are like priests and like, you know, clerics in training, uh, but no one who can really deal with your issue. Um, you guys have a choice of what type of cleric you would like to hire to look into your, your, uh, your problem. So here's the thing guys, I think the kind of like, pre like cleric we should get is like a good one, yeah. We can all agree on that. I so it goes without saying. <laughs> there's there's three you can choose from. Uh, Gromuth, which is the god of the forge. Mm -hmm. um, Avin, which you guys know of, yeah. uh, which is the god of justice. Um, they can send you a trainee. And then the last one is a uh, Orthrock, which is the the god of dragon oracles. It's a very small um small temple that is absolutely willing to help out they don't really have much of a domain so like general clerical help they can do for you and they are all capable of taking care of this issue 
they can look into it and at least um, all have guaranteed that they can remove the necrotic energies. Um, they can't really promise anything beyond that. That would cost an immeasurable amount of money. And also you'd have to probably put it through the council to ask for like an actual contract worker to come in, but they can come and take a look. God, this is like insurance. It kind of, it was just like, I'd like holy go, shit. I'd like, we're, we're, I'd like to go with Avis. Are we doing Roth or regular or standard IRAs? What the fuck? Is, <laughs> is Her, does Hertz have better ratings in this town? <laughs> uh, all, of a, all of a sudden, this stream brought to you by Lemonade. Mm -mm -mm, delicious Lemonade. Which is, a, which is an insurance company. <laughs> it is? It's also a, delici yep. a delicious, delicious uh, drink in the hot summer. Uh, so okay, so your, um, your, your choice is a, a, a uh, probably like middle aged dwarf, which for a dwarf is pretty old mm -hmm. uh, from the Gromoth clergy. You have a, a dragon board from the, um, the Orthoc uh, clergy, um, and then you have a very young man from the Avon clergy. Kind of a, I'd, I'd, I'd rather go with the Orthoc. I don't know about the rest of you guys. I'm cur I am curious as to a dragon based religion around here, but that's just my bias. I'm just looking for the experience. So the Orthoc is a dragon. Yeah. Yep. Well, I feel like, I mean, I mean, do we want someone to worship Task? I mean, Grickle's eyes over to Task. Task just looks left and right. That is so ass backwards in my culture. I have no fucking idea how to respond to that. Well, didn't you kill one of your gods though, the dragon? And now panic squaring him. Shit, yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right, boys. Okay. Let's, 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 let's just settle with this and let's get on with it. We got lots to do today. Okay. All this, right. will, this will cost you money. Okay. Um, How much? 250 gold pieces. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Uh, the cleric that you get, her name is Athena. Uh, she is a gold dragonborn. Uh, and she will, she will swing by. She'll actually do a full look through throughout the day and leave a report for you when you guys get back. She's going to do, cool. so, do a full sweep. She's going to do a full sweep, yeah. I just imagine her going. Oh around the god! House. Now the dragon's a Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, as you guys, I'm assuming at this point, after getting that all settled, uh, you guys make your way out to the uh, the outer wall. Wait, where's Hasrod? Uh, he's not there. Uh, you assume this probably. He probably headed over early. How cold is it outside? It is snowing lightly, which is a refreshing change of pace from the sudden blanket of snow that you guys experienced. Uh, it is. It is pretty cold. It is manageable if you keep moving but if you're to stay in like one place um it, it would be cold it does look like there's some some dark clouds in the distance but mm -hmm. uh quick question is in the uh, borky's not wearing a jacket right now is that going to be a problem no. um i will say um uh i mean this is where 5e e rules get all kind of finicky but um, you're not gonna, you're not, you are not in the threshold in which you will just take exhaustion okay. right now. All right. Um, but you, you, I mean, if you were to like, you know, get hit by an icicle or something, um, it, it has the potential to like hit you for more damage or something. But even then, like okay. that wouldn't help you, you, you have a, you, you and Greckles currently have a larger margin for error to, to reach exhaustion point while task is not, but you are not at that point. This is still just the first snowfall. Okay. So. But task is also, also purchased like winter clothing. Yeah, no. So you, you, you would, you have, you have basically it, it depending and on I, the temperature. I wonder, I wonder, what time of day is it though? Uh, you guys are currently walking around at probably about eight o'clock in the morning at this point. Okay, because I did have that tea the day before. Uh, so you are still warm from that, yeah. So it will last basically up until mm -hmm. uh, it's twenty-four hours. Yeah, you basically will have that until about five p.m. ish. Okay, then. So. Can 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 I have a can I do a quick little thing before we actually leave the tavern? Sure. What would you like to do? Hey, Scarbles. Yeah. Oh, God. God. Right. Come on. He's sitting on his shoulder. <laughs> Did it, Let uh, me put on my got, hat. <laughs> do we got any jackets in the lost and found? <laughs> lost and found. Dude. That's a good one. Dude. I know. Dude. That's why I told it. Dude. Wink. What 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 he means is, do you have any jackets that you have you have appropriated for your what I can only assume is nest underneath okay. the pillow? Let me let me roll and see if she's still in the jacket. 
What are you paying? Your salary? Your ba- your betting? <laughs> I- I- I'm not paid for jackets on my salary. Oh my god, we'll see the jacket. How many jackets do you have? I have one. Is it like a, would you say it's for like a big buff guy or a person with hollow bones? No, I won't, I won't fit you, but it'll, it'll, it'll fit hollow bone guy. Damn it. Okay, Porky Gre- 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 Greckles, Greckles rolls out 20 coins on his talons. No, 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 not money. What else you got? Oh, we're playing. <laughs> oh, 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 partners. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Train with a goblin. Money ain't the only thing. It usually is. Um, let me dig. Crap, I don't have that much. Uh, give me a second. I got to get to my extended sheet of random crap. <laughs> Balls. I either have really critical things or trash. All right, trash. What is it, what's the trash? <laughs> Do you have anything? Do you have extra arrows? Task holds up a gold locket. Uh, I wish I don't though. No. Mm. Sorry. I have, most I have... most patrons keep weapons pretty close. All right, all right, Scarbles, I got something you might want. Okay. She's like rubbing S- her hands together. Something, something to keep people out of your little hidey hole. Holds <gasps> out the holds out the padlock. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 be right back. And she just ducks into a hole. Uh, you hear some scratching noises. About 10 minutes passes. And she comes back and she's like, eh, eh, I just eh. had her like a Yoda puppet, just squished in. <laughs> uh, eventually she emerges <laughs> with a, um, what could only be described as an exceptionally poofy down jacket. How poofy. Um, it looks like it's meant to fit a dwarf. It's kind of got a crop top kind of feature to it. <laughs> so it goes down beneath your ribs, but then your midsection is still there. Uh, it's like hey, a fur if, trim. If, if panic isn't going to be here, someone else has to rock it. Uh, all right. Uh, she hands it off to you. Uh, she takes the padlock and it's like, oh, good deal. She scrambles away. Uh, I want you to roll a charisma check with disadvantage as you've done the jacket. Yes. <laughs> 15. 15. Uh, Helga rolls her eyes at the counter and just turns into her bedroom and closes the door. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a pretty high roll for disadvantage. It's not bad. <laughs> All right. So you guys are basically ready to go. Yep. Uh, get Taurus. Tap on his uh, tap on his uh, doghouse. Uh, he, he sticks his head out. He's got currently an icicle hanging off of his, his oh, lolling no. tongue at the moment. He seems fine. It just seems to be just a, it's there. Slap that off. Come on, let's go. Well, no, before we hold on, we should ask Hashwood if he wants to join us. A Borky, He's probably waiting for us. Maybe, maybe he waited for us. Maybe he was being nice. Borky goes outside real fast and knocks on the door. No response. Poke, poke open the door a little bit with a finger. Anything in there? You are immediately met with like like five snakes that all dart in different directions. <laughs> Borky closes the door. <laughs> they were naked. And Borky walks and joins the guys. All right, you guys make your way. Um, the snow kind of picks up a little bit, so you're kind of glad you have that jacket. Um, let me find some audio. Joke's on her, I still have the key. What color is the jacket he's wearing, by the way? Uh, the jacket he is wearing is like a, a weird mixture of reds. It looks like it was like dyed with like really cheap dye. It is, it is not a, uh, it's, it's not terrible, but it's not, not great. It's not great. It is not, if nine were to see it, it would be thrown into the fire. Let's just put it that way. Uh, eventually, you guys, make your way out. The outer t- town is actually pretty quiet. Um, it a lot of people are kind of holed up in tents. You can see the warm uh, orange glow inside different tents as people are kind of staying inside and staying warm. Uh, as you guys exit, I want you all to roll perception checks. Whoosh! Give me a moment. I'm still Ooh, remember. I'm I'm running this on a different computer, so my buttons are a little sloppy. It's all good. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, perception. Thirteen. Did I click it? Yes. Or... Yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay. Twenty-four. Uh, Borky, you are currently like catching snow on your tongue. Uh, uh Task and Greckles, you see currently uh, sitting in kind of a jockey seat. Uh, you see Meryl and a young boy. Um, uh, and you see Hostrek currently. 
wearing what looks like five winter jackets. And he's just like kind of stuck in the back of, a, of a, what looks like a wagon that is being uh, driven by like what looks like a kind of like a drafting horse, actually. Does he, does he look like the kid from A Christmas Story? <laughs> yes. A <laughs> hundred, yes, absolutely he does. His like cheeks are being pushed up from like a scarf and like his eyes are narrowed. Oh my God, he looks like a hog snake when it's trying to drink water. <laughs> <laughs> But you do you do see them there. You see um, you see four kids, and then you see Hasrod. So there's five in total there. Hasrod and the children. All right, guys, let's go. Uh, what happened then? In an hour, as they said, I, Hasrod's heart grew three times larger that hi, day. Hi, Baron. Hi, children. Hi. Hello, uh, hello, Hasrod. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hasrod, can, uh, can I borrow a coat? No. They're all mine. <laughs> <laughs> now let's hurry up and get this free food. Uh, Meryl kind of looks a little nervous and jumps off of the horse. Um, she's not on the horse, but she's on the jockey seat. Uh, the horse itself is this beautiful, almost sort of uh, marble, uh, white and brown uh, horse. It's got very, very furry, like kind of hooves. It's very large, like it's absolutely massive. In fact, Gorky, if you were to put a saddle on it, it would actually probably carry your weight really well. Um, you also see a young boy with kind of brown hair. He almost looks like a, like a female or a male version of Meryl, um, kind of dirty face. And he's currently holding the reins. You see a younger girl, maybe about 12, uh, with kind of like blonde hair coming back into a ponytail. Uh, and then you see uh, another boy who doesn't look anything like the other children. He's kind of uh, got more of a tan skin, uh, black hair, uh, kind of messy and, and curly. Um, he's got like a, like a Band-Aid on the cheek. And he's currently also in like a jacket. And they all kind of wave. And like the, the kid goes, Meryl, that's your friends? And Meryl says, yeah, they're going to help us with our problem. And she kind of gives him a wink and walks up to you guys. So um, thanks for joining us. Mm. No problem. no problem. Our parents are away currently at a Ginter Temple meeting about you know what to do for winter and stuff. So every year we like to go on a bit of a um, a bit of a joyride. But um, well, the reason we wanted to invite you and also because we want you to be there is that there's kind of a big log blocking the way to our favorite place to go. So mm -hmm. if you guys help us break the log, we can take you sleigh riding. First of and... all, why do you want to hurt him? Hurt. What? Why do you want to hurt log? Not that log. Bro. Not oh, that log. An not, actual tree. No, an no, actual I, I, log. I, oh, re, okay, I was going to say, no one harms him or, or, or they will deal with me. Oh, no, I wouldn't do anything to your weird um, friend. Yeah, yeah, we're friends. We're friends. I gave That's him a strong like, word. I gave him, like, food and water, but I assume he doesn't eat. But, uh, you know, I just... I wasn't sure if he was like a new pet or something. Um, anyway, uh, we should head out before the snow gets too big. All right, uh, you can get in off the back if you want. Sure, getting inside, getting Taurus getting there too. All right, you like you load up as you kind of push Taurus butt up like like a dog getting into the back seat of like a like a car. The kids all like grab him by the shoulders and help drag him in. <laughs> Um, and oh. Hosrod, like he like falls over onto Hosrod, and Hosrod's like, "Yes, cover my feet, thank you." You don't. Do you have feet? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. I th I he thought, does. Wait, yeah. Right. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of John T. M Melsons. Never mind. No, no. He's he's got feet. He's okay. he's got legs. B Borky kind of sits on the back seat with him, puts his arm around him a little bit because like Borky likes to chill out in the corner. You know. You know, just a little bit. <laughs> so. So what? Like, what are like, were you like at four coats and like, yeah, it's not enough. I was at like three and I was like, not two more, I'll do it. Borky, he's cold blooded like me. If we I'm don't just, have, I'm we just... will die. We will literally die walking outside if we don't cover our bodies. God. But why would you Our risk... hearts will cease to function. Cast, you can find love. I know you can. Anyway, <laughs> Hoster, Hoster just like narrows his eyes and like turns his like big poofed up face to Taz and goes, <laughs> starts snickering. Uh, one of the boys in the back, uh, the kid with the messy black hair, he kind of shoots out a hand. He goes, I'm, I'm Stanley. You just call me Stan. 
Pleasure. Or Lee. Okay, Actually, stand. Lee. Let's go with Lee. I like Lee. Lee okay. sounds cool. Jeez. Whoa! Get your time out, out of character. Did you just make a Stan Lee joke, Monty? What? Did you just make a Stan Lee joke? I don't know what that would be. All right, never mind. Moving on. Monty, I'm sorry. You can't. I I'm sorry. We can't feign ignorance on that. You literally just made smiling Stan Lee the Excelsior. Excelsior, what? Spider Man. Oh, oh, Stan Lee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> sorry. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Sorry. Spider Man. Hold, hold on to your hats, not uh, true believers. <laughs> yeah. Just, just call me Lee. Just call me Lee. It's, right. it's, um, it's, it's Marvel Man. The uh, the blonde girl um, who looks a lot like Meryl actually. Um, she uh, kind of bows politely and she goes, um, "I'm Lucy. I'm Meryl's little sister." What? Meryl, Meryl, I didn't know you had a sister. Oh yeah, I have, I have a really big family actually. Uh, this is my brother, and she points to the other the other kid, and he waves. He goes, uh, "His name's Sam. He's kind of quiet." And Sam flicks the reins. I'm gonna roll an animal hand for him. Oh Jesus! He's proficient, which is good. That, yeah, that's fine. He he kicks the rein. The horse kind of like <clears throat> like gets a little bit indignant, and then you guys begin to move forward. Um, people kind of make way as you guys press forward. Uh, the wind howling around you, and as the journey begins, you get to see Alavast in a in a whole new sort of light. This white rolling hills with the soft drifting snow, all the all the trees now devoid of leaves now have almost a, a little haircut of snow on each and every one of them. Oh. There are small partridge birds and, and cardinals and, and all kinds of little little songbirds currently nipping about at the at the bottom of most of the trees looking for seed or anything to eat. Um, you begin to make your way onto what looks like a, a commonly used trail. It looks like it's been kind of cleared out uh, by other caravans, by other wagons and things like that. As you begin to make your way over the landscape, um, you do turn uh, a bit north um, instead of your usual west west sort of direction. And you actually do head north past the chicken man's house, if you recall the chicken man. Oh, Lordy. Oh, jeez. Is he just uh, pressed up against the window staring at Greckles? As he was... <laughs> <laughs> just, just like... Uh, roll up, roll up, Greckles, roll up perception. Oh, oh no! Jesus. While he does that, can, we, can I just, kind of just factor that we're here? I can't believe the Stan Lee is on the Unexpected Sky. Yeah. I think we're in phase four now, right? We're in oh phase four. God. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> as you look out, you do see what looks like a, another separate building, which is obviously a chicken coop, and you do see a, a form exit out of the chicken coop, closing the door behind it. But before you can really see, have him notice you, the, the cart kind of goes past and disappears behind what looks like a, a berry bush covered currently in snow, like a big giant mound of snow. Greckle sits uh, back down slowly, eyes wide, and having Vietnam flashbacks. Fortunate bird! <laughs> Meryl! Uh, yes? Where's the food? Uh, we'll, we'll get there, Hasrat. Don't worry about Task it. Task hands him a ration. No, not, it's not free. It tastes better when it's free food. I, thought it I am giving you free food. I hunted this. You technically are getting this for nothing. I hunted a bear for this jerky. Oh shit, all right, takes it, he just oh, eats the whole thing whole. He doesn't even chew, he just oh, eats the whole thing whole. Um, you guys begin to press forward, you begin to see different farms, you see cattle and horses standing out in the snow, don't seem too bothered. Uh, you see what looks like uh, barrels and, and crops being loaded in by some farmers into to large, almost warehouse-like barns. Uh, you actually pass by a, a man, uh, who looks like a hunter of some kind, uh, he's currently got a stack of different furs on the back of his horse as he rides past, and he tips his. He's got kind of like a um, kind of like a snow cap on. He kind of tips it and goes, "Morning, Merrill." And Merrill's like, uh, "Morning," and they just kind of pass by. Um, and as you guys walk, Merrill points out a, a very nice little sort of like quaint wooden building uh, that has very very beautiful glass. And Merrill points out, "Goes, oh, uh, that's a Ginter Temple that my parents go to." Oh. All right, nifty. Hmm. Forky, like, and oh, I guess if this was modern day, ooh, click with this camera. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> over there, and she points to like a really, really fall little, like small cluster of what looks like like houses and like little kind of shed buildings. And there's a big, big, giant barn. She points over there. And she goes, uh, "That's my family's farm, actually." 
And Lucy goes, um, our family's farm. She goes, yeah, our family's farm. Come on. It's kind of like they both look a little indignant towards each other, siblings. Um, and eventually they press forward and you guys kind of turn in what looks to be like a really, really, um, lots of vegetation. Uh, it's almost like a valley of, of vegetation. There's this big giant opening. There's, there's tree branches with snow kind of arching over your heads as the sunlight, what little there is flickers through as you guys make your way through this almost tunnel of tree branches and, and ice. Um, and Lee, uh, pulls out a stick and like hits one of the, the branches. Uh, for those of you who are in the, the way, which is all of you, if you want, you, you can make a reflex save to avoid the snow. Hossrod is definitely going to do that. That's 16. So, nice. Or wait, dex is save. it a dex save? Dex save. Dex save, dex save. yeah. That's oh, a 24, Borky's, actually. Borky's, 24, Borky's, too, Borky's too busy taking in the winter, the winter wonderland. 14. Okay. Uh, Hasrod is currently like his eyes are closed. He's like, eh. like just like trying to stay warm as the wind howls and whips. Um, you all succeed. Hasrod rolled a two, so he fails. Oh. As the kid hits the branch, a whole bunch of snow just <laughs> on top of Hasrod. <laughs> Borky points, but Borky didn't roll anything, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you also get hit, Borky. You get <laughs> the whole thing on your shoulders. It doesn't really bother you much. Oh, laugh it up, bird. Laugh it up good and hard. Lucy, who also, uh, she didn't even notice. Her face was turning back. She kind of like dusts off her hair and she goes, could you not? <laughs> and like Lee sits down and goes, oh, whatever. It's fine. That was really funny. Hey, Lee. Lee, Stan. Yeah. Stan. Stan. Just call me Lee. Just call me Lee. Okay, whatever you want, Mr. Stanley. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wowzers. <laughs> you know what would be Excelsior? <laughs> I'm sorry, Monty. We can't. I have this. never regretted something more in my life. Uh, <laughs> oh, and you this stop. coming from the person who made a fat pigeon. Come on yeah, now. Well, this is be... not the worst offender. Okay, that no, was a that was a that was a that was a joke. I'm not gonna lie. He said yeah. you're really, yeah. you're really good. Borky whispers in his ear something, okay? Okay. I, I want I want I'm gonna type something to you, Monty. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Hush, push, push. Now I'll type it out here. We continue on. Okay. Uh, as the wagon continues forward, it's kind of a bumpy ride. All the snow making the ground kind of uneven. There's there's actually some like half frozen puddles you guys kind of like lean into. Uh, Lee whispers back to you. Uh, he says, you're a little ahead of the game. He says to you, Borky, in a whisper. Um, eventually you guys make your way and you kind of turn off into yet another almost, uh, yet less, less in used path. And as you make your way there, you see up ahead lying across the trail is the, is the log, not the robot, but the log that they mentioned. Uh, it's a very, very sturdy looking, uh, birch tree. It looks like it, it was quite old and it looks like it had fallen down. Not during the winter, but potentially during the, the, the summer at some point. It looks oh, like, like all, the, all the snow's piled up on top of it? Yeah, there's a lot of snow piled on top. And as the wagon comes closer, Sam, uh, Meryl's brother, kind of pulls the reins and the horse <laughs> kind of stops in place and kind of kicks at the ground. And Sam kind of leaves back goes, there's some axes in the bag there. And he kind of reaches over and he, he opens up this, it looks like a burlap sack. He kind of like unties it and pulls it open. He grabs an ax. Borky, pulls, he hands. Borky pulls up his actual war ax out of, okay. the, out of the fanny pack of holy. Oh, no, no, I'm good. I got me own. Hey, hey guys, before we get shop happy, well, uh, let's kind of have a look at this. Yeah. Uh, then I guess we insider percep perception to see what's up with the log. Would that be investigate? Uh, what are you or, trying to learn about the log? Which, how, I'm what's the like, angle? <laughs> oh, it's on uh, the ground. It's it's on a vertical angle, or a horizontal angle, sorry, on the ground. Okay. Grifos uh, would be looking for anything suspicious. Okay, I'm gonna look, I'd say... I'm, I'm going to look at the root of the tree. Like, see I'd how say thing knowledge nature for all of you. Looking into this tree. Ah, uh, excellent. Oh, yeah. that's a five. Eleven. Eleven. That's okay. a tree! You guys look at it. I mean, it's a tree. Um, it definitely like the way it's it's broken is like um, when a tree falls, it almost like it, it, something forcibly made it fall over. Um, and it looks like 
that it snaps and like there's actually a huge chunk of the, the trunk left and you can see exactly where it fell um it's currently like half the loft on one side it's almost being lifted up by the bark on the outside on what remains of the trunk so there's a slight lift like you could crawl underneath it in a way but it i wouldn't risk it because it's quite heavy and you don't know how long that'll hold hmm. uh, but it is covered with a with a significant amount of snow it's covered with at least two feet given oh, that that's what the blanket how long was. did you say this tree fell over uh based on your knowledge it's definitely this definitely happened before the winter um, oh i was asking the kids oh the kids yeah uh, who are you asking in particular meryl or meryl okay um well we haven't come here since the winter so we don't know we assume probably sometimes in the mm -hmm. sometime in the summer there was some strong winds and some storms so. all right I'll well, go, i've got an idea i thought we got one or two options here on this tree bork is cracking his neck ah one we chop it down both ends, drive the cart through, or option two, I think is the better idea. We chop down the top parts of it, the, all, the, all, the, all the limbs, and we just push it. I was about to say we could cut it into a cylinder and just roll it away. That was option one. Well, there we go. I, I think that would be the easiest thing to do. Mm. How thick is this tree? Um, It is about... Uh, just from one side to the other, I'd say it's about maybe a foot and a half, two feet or so. It's very large. It's a very old birch tree. It looks mm. like it's been around Oh, it's for a long birch? Time. Oh, no, that's hardwood. Uh, yeah. Dude, dude, no, dude, listen. Whatever pieces we can hack off, we can sell it as firewood. Oh, that's crazy. Let me uh, try something. Let me, let me, me try how something. How are we transport day? I mean, fanny pack of holes has got a lot of space. Not enough for a tree. Not, not, well, that, that's not our main concern, but whatever we get, we can. I mean, um, we could always, our family could always come back and gather it. That's for fair. Our home. Okay. I mean, not to take from you guys. I mean, firewood doesn't really sell for a lot here for the most part, but I guess well, for the tavern. Considering you're walking around with two cold blooded individuals, we might need it. Fair enough, but we actually have um, a, and like, as she goes to say something, like Lucy in the back of her goes, don't tell them about the surprise. And Meryl goes, right, sorry. Um, we might have something, but I can't tell you what it is. Oh Which my God, we're so excited. Good secrets. Uh, Greckles is actually gonna poke it with his wakazashi. Okay. <laughs> you poke it, some snow comes off. Okay, that's a load off of my mind. She as said as you bring back your blade, a chipmunk leaps up and runs across the log and runs up into a tree. It kind of shocks you, but uh. it's, just, it's just a chipmunk. It's got a mouth just full of stuff and it goes tch, 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 and it like runs into a hole in the other tree. All right, so. In the same tree? No, no, it's a different tree. Okay. Like a well, living, let, living Let's one. begin then. Okay. Uh, for those of you who took an ax, there's four axes in total. Uh, Bork, you're using your own. Yep. Uh, Task, you're taking one. Uh, Lee has one, and Sam has one. So, Greckles, you want to try and take a crack at this as well? Sure. Okay. Everybody, I need you to make uh, strength checks. I'm a lumberjack and I don't care. Swing my axe oh, like God. I never oh, my God. Care. oh, it's a strength save. Can it just count as strength? It's this. <laughs> Sure, I'll be nice. <laughs> Thank you, I'm sorry. Natural uh, eight. For and flavor, 14. all of you guys, like, you you walk up with your axe, you're like, this will be fun. And the moment you do, Borky just goes on one side with his axe, he just <laughs> cleaves right through the birch tree and then walks over to the other side and just <laughs> cleaves through the other and just kicks the log forward. Uh. <laughs> the boys have, like, their axes raised and they just, like, they look awestruck. They're like... What? <laughs> Thank you. Don't worry, kids. This is normal. Thank you, Monty, for that. Seriously. Uh, it's flavor. If it's oh. if it's combat, I would say no. But it's uh, it's flavor. Oh, so. Yeah. oh, so you guys loosened it for me, all right? Well, we need to push it still. Lee says, and they the the boys walk up and they like push up against it. Uh, I need everyone once again to do a strength check to push it out of the way. You get Tars get Tarsk out here to help out. 15. Tars, all right, I'll roll for Tars. Yeah, because my, my strength, my strength, te my strength uh. checks are dick, so. Lee, Lee got a one, so that's really bad. Sam. I got a crit failure, so never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, <laughs> wow, everyone sucks, um, <laughs> including Borky. Um, uh. You guys are all, like, pushing, and, like, you're pushing really, really hard, and, like, Tars comes up, and I actually didn't roll for him. Okay. Oh, uh, Tars comes up and helps push as well. 
Uh, task, like everyone kind of waits a moment and watches a task by himself tries to push. Mm. And you're like, you're like doing that thing where you're like, you're kicking in place and eventually you're digging yourself a nice hole in the snow as you sink mm. and descend lower. I turn around <laughs> and look at everyone else and they haven't even got here. Well, no one fucking show up all at once. <laughs> Uh, yeah, then well, everybody I'll... shows up at once. Well, it is an egregious process. You all begin to sweat. Um, Hostrod is just like leaning over and watching from the cart in his many jackets. His arms are like pinned up. He can't lower his arms at the moment. Um, and Taras comes over and pushes with his head. And eventually, with a lot of effort, you guys curve the log like a door almost opening onto one side. It's not perfect, but it gives you guys enough clearance to, to leave. Heave, no. heave, ho! Heave, heave, ho! Heave, heave! Come on, everybody! Heave, heave, ho! We're trying! We're trying! Heave, they, heave, they... ho! Ah! And then the last little bit, Borky slips. Ah! <laughs> they nailed it. Ah. The guys kind of wipe their hands off, and and Meryl takes the reins, and she begins to like she snaps the reins, and the horse begins to move forward, and as she kind of passes by slowly. She's like, "All right, jump on." And I'm Lee just, just leaps on through the side, like he climbs up the side, and, and Sam leaps up on the jockey seat. I front flip on that shit. Yeah, you like you do like a front flip, and you land on your feet, and then sit down right next to Hasrad. Morky just, um, just climbs on the back, sits down beside Hasrad again. Don't break your sweat. I am, and I'm so happy about it. <laughs> yeah. You guys, press on forward, and as you do, you begin to see why the kids like to go here. There is beautiful, beautiful trees here. Gorgeous white birches and a few oaks, old, old oaks that make this canopy of shadow and ice. Uh, roll a perception check. Mm. That's a good roll. Uh, 21. 14. Okay. Uh, as you guys are traveling, uh, you guys see a humanoid figure um, and you see it just for an instant before it, it disappears into leaves and into a tree. Uh, roll knowledge nature. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. That's an 11. Three. Here we go. 15. Okay. Um, you know, in your travels and talking with Willow and you picked up potions and stuff, um, generally dryads are extremely peaceful creatures. They tend to occupy a tree in a forest. Um, it's no surprise to see them being kind of curious about you guys entering. Um, generally though, they're, they're basically harmless. They probably just like seeing what you guys are up to. Oh, well, I'm, I, well, go ahead. No, go ahead. It's fine. <laughs> I was going to turn to the kids. Are the plant folk here, uh, calm to other people walking into their territory? Oh, Meryl kind of looks up. Oh, the dryads? Did you see one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they're good with us. We just don't come in here to log as much as we want. The fallen log's fine. I mean, it was already dead, but, um, you know, we don't, like, we don't cut down trees here if we can help it. Mm. Borky, mm. Borky just leans over to Task. That's a dryad, because I thought it was Florida Mort for a second there, and I was having a small panic attack. Not to be confused with panic grim tongue. Well, so long as we don't do any damage to the forest, they should leave us alone. We already killed one of their trees and chopped up its body. Well, why don't already dead? What does it matter? If if there was a dead body in your street and someone came along and chopped it up, you'd be more worried about that guy. <laughs> Borky, it's okay. He's she's nice. We've uh, actually talked to her before. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Believe can... it or not, Borky, not everything is trying is out to kill us. Yet they haven't met me yet. I am not everyone's cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Greckles just rolls his eyes. Ah, ah! You look up and there's a crow perching, kind of looking at you inquisitively, and it kind of flies off towards where the dryad was, essentially. We're just you... keeping an eye out. We have eyes on us, I guess. Probably just through this grove. And then once we get to the clearing, then the fun starts. What's, what is this fun? We'll explain when we get there. Maybe they're uh -oh. gonna kill us, Greckles. <laughs> I said maybe, low chance, but. <laughs> <laughs> he starts laughing his head off. The guy leaves, he goes, 
Man, I've met orcs a couple of times, but it's always a treat every time. Oh yeah, Borky's a real barrel of laughs. I really am. It's like it's an never-ending faucet of fun. Meryl, where's the food? Uh, Mr. Hosford, we'll get there. Don't worry about it. Tass throws, throws another ration at his face. Stop it! That's my face. Does he? Does his jaw just disconnect? <laughs> just swallows <laughs> it every time. He You're does. Happy. He does not chew. Whatever you give him, he just he just eats it. And every, it, every, well, every time he bitches, I'm just gonna throw food at him. <laughs> uh, eventually, you guys do break through the trees, and you see this giant, almost clearing of field. And almost all the kids go, oh, like it's like this nice deep breath in. And Lucy kind of looks over to you and goes, when it's, when it's summer and springtime, this field is full of flowers. It's quite beautiful, actually. Mm. But now it's full of snow. Mm. Borky kind of looks at uh, Lee a little bit. Borky bobs his eyebrows. Lee kind of like looks confused. He's going to roll an insight on you. That that is that is a four. It's <laughs> kind of nods like yeah, yeah all right. Get a, get a pers can a persuasion check help him? Uh, persuasion on who? For for Borky to roll a persuasion to him to see if he can like just like I don't know like head gesture. Get the message to him. Yeah, like head gesture. I will roll and give him advantage <laughs> if you want to aid in this. That's a three. That's that's even worse. <laughs> So Borky's okay, just doing well, weird eyebrows. Lee, Lee, he has a, he has a, dense a brick. he's a bit dense. Yeah, he like nods like, he's a bit of a, like he's a farmer. He's like, yeah, all right, yeah, flowers. I got you, like nods. Uh, eventually, like the, the horse at this point is kind of struggling through the deep snow. Uh, but it's just, it's just, it's just, it's this beast of muscle. It's just kind of pushing through this drafting horse. It doesn't seem to care as it kind of brings you guys forward. Eventually, uh, Meryl kind of pulls the reins and the horse stops and shakes its mane. She goes, I think here would be a good place. And Sam jumps off into the snow um, and they begin to kind of grab jackets and mittens and things and kind of don those on. And Hazard's like, no, no, give, give me one of those. Give me one, give me, give me the mitten, give me a mitten. And like, Meryl <laughs> hands him a mitten and he tries to put on his other arm, but he's wearing too many jackets. He's like, eh, no. <laughs> Meryl! Meryl's like, I'll help you, Mr. Haas. Right? She like puts on mittens on either hand. He goes, thank you. And, so is he uh, just a ball of fluff now with two he, little tiny I, mitten hands? I, I feel like if we tipped him over, he can't get back no. up like a tortoise. That, is it, <laughs> no, just, he probably can't. Just, just like a Christmas story. It's just like a... Ah! <laughs> I've fallen over! He can't get his arms down. Um, all the kids begin to jump off the, um, the, the horse, and the horse does stay in place. It's, it's very, very well trained. Um, and the kids kind of walk into the field and Sam, uh, Meryl's brother, takes a large, he's got like a large stick. It's what uh, Lee used to knock the tree and he begins to kind of like draw in the snow. Like he's starting to draw this giant box in the snow. Hmm. Um, and as you guys step forward, Meryl's like, no, 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 just wait, just wait, just wait. He draws this big giant box in the snow and then he goes right through the middle. So there's two sides. Hmm. And um, he walks up to Meryl and goes, all right, pick a captain. Oh. Who, wa who wants to be a captain? Borky, I do. All right, you're a captain. You go right there. Yeah. You point to a spot. Who wants to be the next captain? Task holds his hand up. All right, you go over there. <laughs> you sounded so tiny. I hold my hand up. <laughs> all right. So Tass, you stand next to Borky, and all the kids line up next to Hasra, and Hasra's like, what's happening? Um, <laughs> what's happening? What's going on? And no, this can't be. <laughs> Meryl, Meryl Lucy goes, all right, pick your team. Uh, you pick one person per turn. Who do you want to pick for your team? Uh, I chose Hasra. What? For what? What's happening? And like, Borky uh, walks Meryl... over and grabs. Can I grab Hasrod? And... Sure. Uh, Roll in athletics versus his acrobatics. He has disadvantage because he's currently wearing <laughs> stiff, like 5,000 jackets. <laughs> Athlet. Got me uh, you. He got. He 20... got 14. No, 26. you got him. You like, you like pick him up and like walk away with him. And he, he can't even flail. He like, he kicks his legs a bit and like his tail like slaps around, but. He can't do anything. He goes, put me down. Put me down. This is embarrassing. I know. <laughs> you this drop him next. This is the second time I, I picked I, him up. I pointed Greckles. 
Now see, that's some sensibility right there. Just saunters over. All right, All right. Borky was play places Toss right in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> You're the shield, kid. You're the uh, shield. I will take Lee. All right, Lee walks over to your side, Borky. Okay. Kind of runs over excitedly. I take Meryl. Okay. Meryl, like, kind of gives you a smile because you guys are kind of friends. She kind of smiles. She goes, yes, and she who, walks over. Who are the last two? Uh, Sam and Lucy. I'll take Lucy. All right, you take Lucy. And that leaves uh, yeah. Sam. And Sam is just like, he doesn't really care. He's just like, all right, and, like, saunters over. Sorry, he's so very, like, he's, always he's a very, like, um, he's actually... No, don't roll an insight. He's a very he's got that sort of quiet disposition to him. Like, you know, he's he's just like he's so long for the ride. He's not really So he's a like... fucking wallflower in the middle of a war. Excellent. So <laughs> sure. His poetry from the snowball fight will be amazing, okay? Oh yeah. <laughs> but he seems like a nice kid. Like he just seems yeah, like Yeah, a, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just being a shit. I'm being a uh, shit. and you had Meryl. All right. I'm writing down the teams. All right. So you guys set up the court is 40 feet long mm -hmm. and about 20 feet wide so you can all hit each other as you guys are able to have a snowball fight uh oh, the kids okay. you watch begin to pack up snowballs in their hands um carefully and hasrad like like it's just like hand, hand me one no no can no i got another i think strategically i've got another plan for you i don't like this idea borky turns his face away <laughs> from the battle Stay right what? there. Why? I can't move. I know. Perfect. Borky ducks behind him. All right. So for the sake of this, for the sake of this snowball fight, everyone's AC is 10. Okay. Regardless okay. of armor. A snowball is a dexterity check. Okay. A snowball <laughs> deals damage, but for this it won't. So you need to you need to hit an opponent twice to knock them out. Okay. So first of all, Sam screams, start really, really loud. I need everybody to roll initiative. <laughs> That's a 16. That's a 14. 21. Hey. Oh, shit. Nice. I'll roll for the children here. I'm just gonna grab music. You need to pee, Zito, your coffee. No, I'm fine. Okay, you're okay? All right, cool. One second, I'm gonna go grab my spicy water real quick while you're setting this up. All right, let me find I music here. Oh dear, this is Final Fantasy Tactics shit. <laughs> okay, so which one is go Okay, so when Hosrod gets hit in the head with a shard of ice in the middle of the snowball, we're all going on this magical adventure. All right, let me roll for Hosrod first. Oh, natural 20 from Hosrod. <laughs> Good luck doing things. He can't really do anything, though. That makes it kind of sad. Yes, I did it! What's this mark? What's this upside-down arrow on my hand? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, a natural 20 for Meryl. And Hasrat is higher. He has higher uh, dex. Oh, so everyone. Oh, everyone. Uh, Distortion Devil is here, and him and his family are watching. Big shout-out oh. to our good friend, Connor. We miss you, hey, dude. dude. And chat, You're everyone say hello to Connor's family. Hi, Connor's family. Hi, Connor's Your son girl. is very nice. He's insanely talented and a gifted actor. Here we go. Sam, wait, no, Sam. Blood Bowl is now. Blood how, deep, how deep is the snow, by the way? Uh, it's probably for you, Greckles, it's probably like up to your knee. Like it's actually, it does count as difficult terrain. There's a lot oh, of God, it. Oh God, and it's up to my waist. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're currently- Perfect. You can still throw in it, but moving is kind of going to be a hindrance. Uh, so that's Not a for me. One. Task, and then that is Sam. Okay, and then we have it's uh, a fourteen. That is Freckles, and then we have. Sorry, this is a big. This is a big initiative round because everyone's getting random initiatives. Mm. Freckles, and then. What's your dexterity bonus, uh, Borky? Oh, my dex bonus is plus two. Plus two? Yep. Yeah, you do beat that, Lucy. So you go next. Yay. And it's Lucy. <laughs> it looks over at dexterity score. 
<laughs> Equally looks at dexterity score. <laughs> I feel like you two are doing the One Piece evil chuckle thing as they walk towards that big undead creature. Oh, as, yeah. as, as Borky and Hotsrod turn over to our side, the menacing like logo is appeared over our heads. Oh no! It's the, now you guys, now so you guys are all just faded with evil eyes and demon symbols over your heads. <laughs> oh, you yeah, don't even know what I got planned. All right, we're we're up. So Hotsrod's up first. Um, Come on, man, let's go. <laughs> he is going to lean over and scoop up snow with his <laughs> hands. <laughs> And he's gonna throw with a disadvantage because yes. he can't. He's gonna like swing like a like a sprinkler. Uh, he actually hits. He rolled a twenty and a seventeen. Oh my god! Uh, he is aiming for. Uh, he's aiming for Meryl. Uh, and he does Where's hit. The food? <laughs> Meryl's like grabbing a snowball, and she just gets pelt in the face. Jesus. And she's like, ah! And Hasha goes, "Where's the food?" And that ends his turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is now Meryl's turn. She's going to aim for Hasrod with advantage because he, he can't really move. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to fall over like a fucking bowling ball pin. That's a 19 that absolutely hits. Yeah. Meryl, Meryl takes a snowball and she throws it at him and she goes, eat this then, and just bashes him in the face. And he just starts going, ah! Ah, why? Ah! Like, starts <laughs> screaming. Like a kid who's got, like, snow in his snowsuit just starts wailing. <laughs> Ask, it is now your turn as you gather up a snowball in your hand. Borky, you can't so just help roll, it. Yeah, so just roll a dexterity check. Yeah, Borky, you can't help but notice that there's an upside down arrow right now. Oop, oop, oop. Actually, that's usually our enemies we're about to kill. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, Ten. fuck. You, Ten. Just, you just hit. Borky does oh. the splits. Fuck. Oh, worth it. Then immediately gets hit in the face. <laughs> oh, the bullet curves. It goes. It goes past his head. You missed. Hits him in the back of the head. <laughs> All righty. It is now Sam's turn. Uh, Sam is on your team task. He is going to rear back and he is going to aim for Lucy. Ooh, that's a two. That's a miss. He throws it and just swings wide. He goes. Sorry. Uh, Greckles, It is now your turn. Geckles, geckles, oh my geckles. god, geckles. 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 <laughs> geckles. Oh, geckles. Selling Ge the insurance, Gre geckles. That no, that that is the that is the real Photoshop bird, Greckles. Geckles. <laughs> geckles. <laughs> you see, you see, Greckles swiftly puts places hands together rapidly. <laughs> and then from him, a giant puff of obscuring mist goes over the entire field. And immediately he starts digging to build a fort. Okay. Oh shit. How long? I will say that that lasts one round. Everybody has disadvantage. That's fine. As you do this, because there That's is a wind, so it will be blown away. That's fine. I just want to have some fun. That ends your turn as you make a fort around yourself. Uh, Borky, it's oh, not your. Oh. I, I, I want to shout out everyone. Get in here. Uh, you can only you only have enough time to make like it for yourself. So. Okay. Okay. But that's you, fine. you begin to pile up snow around yourself. Uh, Borky, it is now your turn. You you can't really see anything. You kind of see like forms across the way. Curses. Okay. Now, quick question. Now, mm -hmm. if a Borky was to start rolling up a giant snowball, what would the, what would the rules for this entail? Um, I would say. Oh, jeez. I would say. Um. It's okay. Never mind. It's okay. Borky. I'd say just, you can just make it, just make a giant snowball. Borky just makes a giant snowball, which is like the size of a medicine ball, essentially. Uh, that should All be right. good. And Borky just winds up. With disadvantage. Oh, because of the smoking effect? Yeah, you can make out who is who, but like actually their distance is kind of hard to see. So you can pick a target, but it will be with disadvantage. Oh boy. I, I can't see the shadow. So Bork, can I aim for the slowest shadow? Borky sure. aims for the slowest shadow. It ends up being Hasrod. <laughs> <laughs> Puts it on top of him. Right. Dexterity with disadvantage. A dexterity <laughs> with a disadvantage. Alrighty. The and reason we're doing just dexterity is because none of you guys are proficient. In natural snowball. one! Oh, so natural one. You are just like, I will hit the slowest target, and you throw the snowball, and you immediately clock Hasrod in the head in yes! front of you. 
you hit him so hard that in a full on like his pose, there's no like him scrambling to fall. You literally hit him on the back of the head, and he just face plants into the ground like completely upright and just down like a fence. You just tr you just hit this kid so hard he Charlie Browned in the air with the snowball and then fell face first. Uh, Hasrod is out. He gets knocked into the snow. He's out. Bor Borky, Borky, Borky adjusts uh, adjusts a, a, a necktie that's not there. <laughs> All right, Lucy, uh, who is on Borky's team, is going to aim for you, Task, and she points, she goes, you better stop moving, rabbit ears! And she goes to hit, that's a two, she completely misses. She swings, and you see as a snowball crashes next to your feet there, Task, almost hits you, but doesn't hit you. Mm. Uh, it is now Lee's turn, and <laughs> he's going to attempt to hit you. Uh, that is actually a 13. Shoot an uh, arrow, boy. Did you jump off my back and shoot an arrow like Kratos and boy? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we forgot his fucking name. Lee. His name is Lee. No, no, no. Atreus. Atreus. <laughs> his like, name is Stan Lee. <laughs> um, Excelsior, dad. He, uh, you get hit right in the chest task with the snowball. It, like, explodes across you and it all sticks to you, so you get hit for one as well. Mm. All right, that brings it back to Hostride, who is currently moaning in the snow. <laughs> uh, Meryl is going to wind up. She's going to aim for Lucy. Uh, and it's disadvantage. That does not hit. That is actually a natural one. <laughs> um, let me roll severity for her. Uh, okay, moderate severity. Uh, she throws it, and she almost hits you task. You almost like you almost feel the snowball hit your leg. You feel the snow shift behind you. Just oh, sorry, Mr. Task. Task just holds his hand up and like puts a finger to his lips, looking back at her. She nods. Um, Sam's turn. He is going to aim for Lucy. Oh, I accidentally dropped that. Okay, ah, it's another three. He misses. He throws and he he completely whiffs. Um, that brings it back to you, Greckles, as the uh, cloud dissipates. You now see Greckles in what looks like a miniature guard tower. It's even got like the the, the siding like a rook in chess. Oh, I was trying to hide. <laughs> you're you're you, you can duck into it. It is it is definitely hideable. It I, is like, I, what, like a gopher hole. What I wanted to do just for lulls before the smoke <laughs> completely dissipated. I want to try to silent image out. Oh, like make an image of yourself leaving. Yes. Yes. All right, sure, you can do a silent image. That will take your right. action. That's 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 fine. All right. The, 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 the hands reclasp. Yo, that's Kai Genjutsu really, really quietly, trying okay. to get Lucian up. You hide in your little gopher hole, and a little, like, uh, uh, Geckles kind of hobbles on out. There he is. There's, uh, yes. there's the real boy. That No, fuck it. That's your minor illusion self name now. Geckles. Geckles, Geckles <laughs> yes. Uh, Borky, I want you to roll a, I believe it is a... It's, a, it's I clicked it. Uh, an investigation. So, Borky, I need you to roll an investigation check. I love rolling things that have a negative stat, and it's the fuck. Mmm, <laughs> mm, that's six. That's a six. You see Greckles run with a snowball in his hand, but you do see the rest of the group as well, so you can aim for whoever you'd like. Borky looks looks at Task. Oh, Task! Did I, did I not get a chance to go? Oh no, you didn't get a chance to go. I'm so sorry. Yeah, got a chance. I, was, I was just yeah. like, I was, I was, I was like, wait a minute, don't like before the mist went away. Couldn't I'm I? I'm so have... sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is your turn. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I skipped you. That was really yeah. bizarre. Yeah, because I, I wanted to use oh. the mist to go into stealth. Oh, I'll let you do that. I'll, I'll, I'll forego it. Where are you going? I, I just, I, I want to like just get down into the snow and hide. I'm short, so logically, if the snow is waist high, I could get down and just, keep, and like pretend like I'm somewhere not on the field. All right, roll a stealth check with advantage. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Nice. You go underneath, you have like a little fin, like a shark, like one of your ears, but it's barely noticeable. You can't really see it. So you're, you're completely under under the snow at the moment, ready for Excellent. an ambush attack. Yep. Uh, that will take your action though. That's uh, fine. So that brings us back to Borky. And Borky, as you see the image of, 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 um, of Task, it fades away and you see an actual rabbit. And the rabbit kind of looks and blinks and hops away as you're ready to nail it with a snowball. Borky just puts the snowball down and like just runs over 
and with all- You can't go past the line. It's, no, no, it's Bork, 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 he's not going past the line. He, run, he runs, like, to the side, sorry. Runs to the side, and throws the snowball as hard as he can at the tower to try and knock it down. All right. I will say for this one, uh, just roll it instead of dexterity, because it's a large thing. Uh, roll just a strike check to, to actually forcibly knock it down. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's Hot Rod. 18. 18. I'm going to roll for your tower. Uh, Greco's, as you're kind of like in your little like gopher hole, kind of like hee 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 Part of it collapses on top of you. <laughs> you get dumped with snow. In that, mo in that moment, he becomes Geckles. That does count as a hit, sadly, because oh. your, your, your thing didn't withstand the blow. I'm sorry. Burn it down! <laughs> I am the destroyer! <laughs> uh, Lee and Lee and Lucy look to you, Borky, and they go, burn it down? Like, kind of like, yeah. destroy? Yeah, yeah, oh, like, yeah, sure, yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> so, 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 so Geckles didn't confuse Borky at all? Oh, that's sad. Um, it is now Lucy's turn. Geckles will gap, grab her attention. She's gonna do an investigation check. <laughs> Uh, that is a 17. What is your spell save, DC? Uh, not that. It's 13. I just gotta imagine right. Jeff Geckles looks like the hyper-realistic... <laughs> That's it, yeah, it's a hyper-realistic... <laughs> it's a hyper-realistic version of Greckles. Lucy looks and she goes and she goes, Wait a minute, that's not real! And she turns and she aims for Meryl. Oh, that's a natural 20. Oh, Jesus. Meryl gets nailed in the face and gets launched back, like, two feet and crashes into the snow. She is now out. K.O. K.O. Lee is going to aim for the tower. He's going to do a strength check with his minus two strength. Oh, boy. That is a 10. So I'm going to have to beat it. And, oh, yeah. It, he, he like, throws the snowball and it doesn't even hit the tower. It just, Aww. like, doesn't even make it. <sighs> uh, Task, it is now your turn. You watch as Meryl kind of gets up and begins to crawl off the off the playing field. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 so dun, dun, Borky's dun, not dun, looking, dun, 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 and he dun, still dun, has dun, that dun, mark dun, on him. Dun, dun, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Taking a shot. Da da da. <laughs> da 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 da. da. <laughs> Fix your check. Twelve. Twelve. Yeah, you deck him, Borky. As you're kind of looking around, like you look to the side, and you immediately get smashed right oh, in the face with oh, snow. Oh, you are. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, you are knocked out. Can, does it like? Can he land right beside Welcome Hothra to with his face in the face in the snow? <laughs> uh, Sam is gonna aim for Lee. That's a natural one. Oh, uh, no. Let me roll severity. <sighs> okay, not that severe. He like he's trying to build a snowball, but it's not sticking together. And he's like, "Come on!" Like he's trying to stick it all together. So he misses his attack. Uh, Greckles, you are in your tower. You kind of push the snow off of you. <laughs> Um, who's, who's left? Uh, you have on Borky's team, you have Lucy and you have Lee. All right, I'm gonna go for Lee. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do a pop out, go back and hide. Okay. Uh, so is it just a straight dex? Just a straight dex, because you guys aren't proficient with this, so. Uh, that's a 21. That absolutely hits him. So that's one hit on Lee. He's going to scoop up a snowball. And, uh... Oh, oh, wait, wait! Not 20 to hide! Go back in my hidey hole! As Lee is, like, gathering up a snowball, you pelt him in the face, and he looks up, and he goes... He looks around, and he sees Taz, and goes, Oh, you're dead. <laughs> uh, Lucy is going to aim at Sam. That does not hit. And then Lee is going to aim for you, Taz. That is a 15 to hit you. As you immediately are, like, celebrating your victory against Borky, you are immediately met with a mouth and nose full of snow as uh, Lee smashes you over the face with a ball of ice. Uh, you're knocked out at the moment. Ooh, ball of ice, you say? Just, I turn and look at the kid as I walk off the field. It's not It's not like actual ice. It's like a solid snowball. <laughs> okay, like, it's not trying to, say, to hurt you. You really are <laughs> making this at the Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Like, holy no, shit. No, no, no. They're not trying to hurt you. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, it's just he, he it, with with his revenge plot, he he packed it down really hard. So it did hurt a bit, but it wasn't like gonna actually hurt you. Oh, well, that that's fair. That's fair. Uh, uh, yeah. That brings us back to Sam, who's gonna aim for Lee. It was final. It was, that's a twelve. It was. Final. You watch as, sorry. sorry. You watch as Sam, uh, full on headshots Lee. Lee gets knocked out, which leaves Lucy. Uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. 
it, so it's Lee and Lucy still up on the field? On no, the Lee, Lee's out. It's just Lucy. She's by herself. She's got that, like, that that tennis player stat like stance where she's like like looking in all different directions trying to to keep her edge. All right, let's let's try and do another pop shot. Yeah. No, it's an no! You go to throw and you immediately like stumble forward and break the rest of your little uh, your little protection there. It crumbles beneath you as you fall on your chest. You fall prone and immediately get back up. Oh, I was hoping it would hit Hasra while he was getting up. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sam hits Lucy. You watch as he kind of just grabs more stone, just chucks it at Lucy. Uh, it is Lucy's turn. Actually, I completely skipped Lucy's turn. She's going to aim for you, Greckles. That oh, is no. an 18. Oh, she, no! She hits you. As you turn around to go back and hide, you get hit right in the bird butt with a, uh, with a uh, uh, You get knocked uh, out. Gre Gre Greckles, Greckles overplays it by just, like, standing up in rigor mortis, like, grasping the throat, arm up, and then just back. <laughs> he falls on the back in the snow. You watch as Sam hits Lucy again. They're now tied. It is down to the final snowball. As both of them grab a snowball, Sam is going to go. Ooh, he missed. Lucy's going to go. She also missed a nine and an eight. I'm gonna pass Hunter's mark on Lucy. Uh, that's a natural 20 for Sam. As Lucy's like scrambling to get another snowball, Sam just hucks it like he's really getting into the game now. He hucks it and hits her right in the side and she is out. No! Tess team is the winner. Woo! High five team. Task high fives. Yeah! Porky pulls Hoss right out of the snow. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I've got, I've got bad news, Hasra. We lost a snowball fight. I, I don't know what hell is like, but it's pretty close to that. <laughs> he like shivers. There, he, there's Tarsk who just waddles on over, like with the fucking like the dog with the rum around his neck. The horse and and Tarsk were enjoying the show. <laughs> both just sharing like a like a hip flask. Yep. Oh my god. So these guys like this uh, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> the kids all help each other up and like Meryl comes over and dusts off Hostra and Hostra's like, stop it, stop it. Oh, Mr. Hostra, it's being ridiculous. Your mitten fell off. And she like puts his mitten back and I goes, there's snow in my mitten, get it out. She's like, all right, all right, takes it off, <laughs> knocks it out. And um, the boys like go into the back of the, uh, of the, um, uh, the, the, the wagon and they're like, and the prize for winning the snowball competition every year is, and they pull out a fishing rod, like a really, really nice bamboo fishing rod. The best fishing rod. Ooh. Ooh. Well, all right. So they hands, he hands the rod to you since you're the team leader. Oh, thank you. All right, Meryl, let's go to the next spot. Let's go. You can get the grill set up. She goes, yeah, yeah, I know. And she jumps in onto the, the jockey seat. She's like, come on, let's go. Here's the thing, I felt about the strategy was, I can't help but feel that Hasra might have not been the most mobile. Well then why did you pick him? I want him to be included. <laughs> <laughs> Hasra just narrows his eyes and has this like look to his face, like his mouth is open, like, what? <laughs> Tash, Tash just like walks past him, pats him on the back. You're being a lot more social, that's very nice of you. I want free food. You're gonna get it. <laughs> Is he just like like sideways walking? <laughs> yeah. He's like, he's like, as he gets to the back of the wagon, he tries to like launch himself with his feet, but he gets like a stomach on there halfway. He starts kicking with his feet as he's kind of like trying to like push himself, like a kid trying to get out of the water with his arms behind his back, like a seal. He's like trying to get in the wagon. And eventually, Lee comes over and kind of shoves him into the back of the wagon, and Meryl <laughs> hits the reins. And you guys take off again through the snow. At this point now. It's a bit of a wind, uh, a bit more snowfall. It's a little, the visibility has gone down a bit. Um, and, and Meryl assures you she knows her way back. It's it, it's not a big deal. There's there's a path. There's a clear set path on the edge of the forest to take. And eventually you guys move. You you see a few deer, a few elk kind of making their way through. Um, you see a moose, a singular moose. How tall is this? How tall is this? Then there's Tash just like, oh. Whole clutching onto like the hilt of his fucking bow, like. Ooh. True story. Moose sound like big daddies from Bioshock. They, they sure fucking do. They, like, this goes. Ooh. I mean, it sounds just like it. So when you're twenty feet from one, it's scary as shit. It is. Ooh. I'm like, that's six, eight feet tall. Run! It can come. 
Um, eventually, you guys make your way, and you see um, a reflection across the glossy surface of a half-frozen lake. And uh, Meryl gets excited, and she kicks, and the horse begins to like almost gallop. And the wagon begins to jump and bound over the snow. And Hasrat is like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my, like freaking out. The kids are laughing and giggling, and, and they're having a, a field day as the, as the wagon kind of swings and turns. And eventually, it's brought to a stop in front of the lake. And all the kids unload, and they pull out from the same long uh, bag. They begin to pull out just simple fishing rods with line and hooks on them. Um, and they begin to pull out little pieces of what looks like, like maybe like leftover food of meats and stuff like that, uh, sausages, things like that. And they walk over. And while they do that, uh, they hand all of you guys a fishing rod. Task, you have the best fishing rod um, because your team won, uh, which means you have advantage for fishing. And yeah. the rest ah. of the uh, everybody else gets normal fishing rods. Hasrod refuses to take a fishing rod, <laughs> mostly because he can only hold it in one arm and it doesn't really work. Well, and I'm, secondly, well, because he's bitter. So is he still hanging out with us where we're fishing? Yeah, he's walking over. the The lake is like it's not huge. It's like maybe like a large ish sort of pond. Like it's 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 big. And as you make your way over, you do see see fish on the surface. Um, <laughs> And as you make your way over, Sam wastes no time, and he just casts his rod immediately. And while he does that, Lee actually uh, goes over back into the uh, the wagon and begins to pull out a, a ceramic, um, almost like it looks like like a bucket, a ceramic almost bucket, and like a bag of other things, and this wire sort of grill essentially. And he brings it over. And Greckles, you actually roll a history, actually. Yeah. Are you hibachiing me? Oh, six. damn it, it's a six. A six. Uh, he brings that loads up. It takes you a while. Um, he begins to pour uh, charcoal into it, and he begins to light the charcoal, and he sets the grill on top, and you guys begin to fish. So everybody, I want you to roll a survival check to catch a fish. Can 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 I actually go over and offer just to, to, to light it for him? Yeah, he's actually struggling to light it. 25 with that advantage! Nice. That's a good thing you had the nice rod. Here, here I got you. I got you. Oh, nice magic. Awesome. And he sets the grill on top. All right. Borky so that is a 25. Borky casts his rod. <laughs> Sam. Natural oh, 20. <laughs> Natural 20. Uh, 16 for Grex. 16 for Grex. That's a 17. And that's another 17 for Lucy. Actually, I don't think Lucy would fish. She doesn't like fishing. Um. So as you guys cast your rods, um, I want task. I want you to roll a one d four. Oh, oh here dear. I go rolling the one d four. Nice. Four. You catch four small fish. Uh, Borky, I want you to roll a a two d four. Two d four. Ooh. Okay. You critted, boy. Yes, I critted, did. Boy. And that's oh, a one Three? and a two. Yeah, one and a okay. two. Okay. And then Greckles, you catch one fish. Oh, okay. And everybody else catches one fish. So that's three fish, and then Borky of three, and then Tasky of four. So you guys in total managed to catch ten fish. Um, and as you guys are kind of, you, you kind of like throw the rod out, and you feel a bite, and you just immediately pull it back. The fish are about maybe, like maybe four inches or so. They look like some sort of like maybe a perch of some kind, but they definitely look like they, they're eatable. They definitely look like pretty good. Mm -hmm. Task um, holds up his fish. I have no idea what the fuck this thing is. I'm so used to these things having no eyes and white. Well, they're food, Mr. Task. Well, Mirror. I get that. I know what a fish is. I've just never seen this one before. He's like, oh, well, you'll, you'll... It's like tons of them in the water, you know? Mm -hmm. like uh, you all. guys, as you catch your fish, uh, Lee takes them and begins to cook them. On the Now that you realize, like, Reckles, it is a charcoal grill. Mm -hmm. um, he sets uh, kind of like small um, skewers into them and begins to grill them and like kind of washes them over. Like, looks like some sort of honey sauce of some kind, some sort of really, really nice sauce. I'll, I'll actually help him with that. Yeah, you guys manage to like flip them over and they, they get this nice charred sort of taste to them. Mm -hmm. And eventually you all sit down with your fish and Hostrad immediately like shoves everybody out of the way, grabs two fish for himself and he goes, this is for me coming, and sits down and immediately engulfs, like swallows them whole. 
but there's enough there for everybody else that you manage to uh, to eat enough. Mm-hmm. It's sweet. It's kind of got like a sweet and sour kind of flavor to it. It's a very flaky fish. As you bite into it, you expect like bones, but they're actually they're they're soft, so you actually can eat it without any problems. Um, it's very very nice. It's very very warm too, and like warms you right to your core. Mm. Um, it's really good. This is really good. I haven't, <sighs> I haven't done this in forever. I don't think Mr. Bobbington likes making fish anyways, you know, because, like, I don't know, PTSD, or fear. He's cursed, Borky. That doesn't mean he can't eat fish. He's still a halfling. Yeah, he's half fish, half man. I yeah, mean, but he doesn't care about being half fish. Mr. Borkington is like prepared fish. The only thing I've noticed with him is that when he cuts the head off, there's a moment where he looks at the head and like a single <laughs> tear runs down his face. And... So now just sound... like. So now I just imagine him making finger puppets. Tell me they're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. After Borky disappears for ten years and he waits there for Borky, Borky just comes in. He's just got fish heads on his fingers. Borky, me and the family are here for you. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm, uh, I, I guess I'll put this down for task then. I've not done something like this ever. This is normally the Forest Vale's territory. I'm mostly just kept to the caves. So this I'm, is a new experience. Lee, like, what smells? I mean, we mostly stick to the farms, but this is fun every once in a while. Mm-hmm. Nice to get away from the parents. Mm, mm. Hmm. Hmm. Well, do you not like your parents? No, I like our parents, but it's just like, you know, when you work over the entire summer, you wake up, you work the farm, you eat, you go to bed. It's kind of exhausting. So it's nice to have fun every once in a while. Mm. Yeah. You should come swimming with us in the creek during the summer. It's really fun. Oh, summer. I was going to say right now it might be a bit, bit, a bit, a bit chilly. <laughs> no, no way. Not right now. Oh. Mm. Oh. Um, Borky, I want you to roll a perception for me. Okay. There it is. Perception. Perception. 18. You hear a laugh. How far away? Muffled, but close to you. (laughs) Borky turns to Hasrod. Is it him laughing? No, he's like, he's like currently licking, licking his, uh, his fingertips. Like, "Mm, that was good. That was really good. It's not him. Uh, B- B- Borky stands up and just kind of looks just where the sound's coming from. Okay, roll another perception check. Borky, what's up? What's up? I heard something. Eleven. You look around. It's coming from your bag. Wait, the, the, the fanny pack of holding? The fanny pack of holding, yeah. <clears throat> Borky... What? Wh- what? Wh- Borky pulls a fanny pack of holding off and walks walks away for a second. Hey, uh, Grecos, pull out your weapon real fast. Yeah, I'm gonna in I'm gonna incite you just because I'm curious about the severity. 18. He's being ner- he's nervous. Grecos slowly gets up and draws out the scary acid dagger stab. Kids. You might want to move. Guys, we might have some action. Everybody steps back. Let me give you guys space. Borky pulls open the bag. Ready's action to attack. And okay. Hold action Hold action to shoot. And Borky reaches in. You pull out what's laughing? Yes. You pull out the hag head goblet. <sighs> and you hear, <laughs> and as the moment you pull it out, it laughs a little bit and then stops. And then the snow begins to swirl and twist. The visibility turns low. And as you look to the sky, you see riding aloft a staff, another hag with icy white skin, tussled hair. And she looks down to you cackling. And now you realize where the cackling is coming from. As this creature looks down to you, goes, well, it's a good thing you came out. Now I can get vengeance for my sister. Shoot, I mean, every- shoot, fire, fire right at her face. No, throw, throw. You, you guys weren't aware that she was above you. She's actually ah, flying shit. above you. Everybody roll initiative. God damn it. Oh my God. Fucking ice hag. Sorry, I, I kind of did that as a jape. Just be like, now I can get my ribbon. Ah! <laughs> 12. 20, 21. Alrighty. 
Uh, seven. Jesus Christ, I was not prepared. Oh my How God. high up is she? She's up pretty high. She's probably about up about 40 feet or so at this point. Also, now would be the time to take a break because I'm going to write down initiative order. Oh, All right. Protect the challenge. I have to move some tokens around because you guys changed your position. It's not a Yeti, but I can work with it. Finally! I'll get revenge for my sister! She shapeshifts into a Yeti. <laughs> Wait, what? You ain't ready she for this, Yeti! She shapeshifts into a Yeti. Oh, God. Uh, quick! Fratic, make cover, throw snowballs at- wait, that's not it. Okay. Alrighty, everybody rolled their initiative, perfect. Grab my counter books here. So she was riding- what was she riding again? She's riding on a staff. A, like, oh, on an actual, like, she's coming on like broomstick, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah broom, broom, broomstick standard witch. Alrighty, so that's a 21 for Grefflings. So the, so the skull was actually laughing. Yeah, it was it was her laugh. Oh, she was laughing through it. Yeah. Oh. She, she's a hag. They're all, they're. Yeah. I'm going to the bathroom real fast here. While you're. Yeah. Oh my god, this is that was not expected at all. Ha <laughs> ha! Tagline. All right, I'm gonna go Ooh, take a wicked play. yes as well. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm gonna go get something else to drink. Don't 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 forget to add the good boy in that. Yeah. And kids did not look well. Ooh, that's a high Oh no. Oh dear. Everyone's gone too. I'm by myself. I wish Snake was here. He wouldn't leave me. Oh, I'm not alone anymore. Hooray. I mean, you might be alone if you kill us all. Mm hmm. We'll find out. <laughs> Indeed, we. So I have a question. Mm hmm. Yeah. So I can like like my uh, Greckles can throw two darts at once. Can he cast a spell and then throw a dart if he does not move? Uh, well, movement doesn't affect the actions in which you can take. So yeah, you could cast a spell that takes an action, then use your bonus action to use a light weapon to attack without modifiers. Okay, and then do I still get my move action? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, she's currently flying up about 40 feet at the moment. Why don't you come down here and fight? Right, do we have ta task oh, back geez. too? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Greckles. Stupid. Wait, Hang are on. you guys? No, you're not. Here we go. No, we're not all back. Here. Oh, no. give me my map, please. No, God damn it! Stop attacking. I'm trying to freaking... Where's the... How can I click on Firebolt for the description and not attack? Uh, go to your, uh, character sheet, the, uh -huh. the, the sorry, I'm, I'm loading it up right now for you. Uh, go to spells and then click the gear that is on the, uh, right side and it'll okay, show you. Okay, there we go. There you we scroll go. Down. You can scroll down, you can read it. Oh, it scared me there for a minute. No, it's all good. Oh, oh, well, ain't that delicious. Okay, didn't know that one. Ugh, excuse me. All right, we're all back. Yep, are we? Okay. Kurt? Sorry. Yeah, I'm here. All right, Greckles, it is now your turn. You're up first as the hag is kind of, kind of circling you guys like a vulture in the winter sky. Visibility is poor. If you're going to be attacking, it will be with disadvantage because the wind is howling and screeching. Hmm. So, what are we seeing on the map really quick? Because there's, uh, there's a big gray thing going on here. There's the lake, which you guys were fishing out of. Mm -hmm. um, and then you see the hag currently flying and circling around the lake. Meryl, the other kids are all around the lake. Uh, and you are all currently combat ready. Hostrad is already ready to waddle to safely, like to safety. He's already trying uh, to escape. <laughs> 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 um. So yeah, basically you have the lake between you um, and and the kids at the moment as you guys were fishing around it. It was more of a pond. 
or would, is it a, yeah it's like a small like a, like a large pond like a pond you can you can fish out of it actually oh. sustains life okay okay cool yeah all righty frosty old hag let's see if you can handle this let's throw that fireball all right that will be with disadvantage yeah uh you miss you throw it and she actually like uh swings why'd you roll a second one Oh! I didn't. Those were the miss rolls, remember? Those are the miss rolls. I'm sorry, no, yeah. 15, 15, 15 still doesn't hit. You, mm-hmm. like, go and you swing it, and she just kind of whips her staff that she's riding on. Like, she kind of does, like, a donut, and it just kind of, like, fizzles out, and she kind of blocks the attack. All right, well... <laughs> she kind of laughs at you. All right, then. Let's see about this. Yeah. Okay, that hits. Uh, that Yeah, that does hit. What do you, What did you do? Yeah. Through, I uh, darted. I, I I chucked a dart out at her. So you just do one damage because you're doing right. a bonus it's, action. It's a, it's a bonus action attack. You throw it at her and you hit her in the chest. She goes, ah! Oh, that's the way you want to play, is it? Boys! And she begins to scream. Uh, it is now her turn. And as it is her turn, you watch as bounding over the snow, large icy white wolves burst into the scene. They're almost, you can barely see them in the snow itself. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, that is massive. They're massive. They're absolutely huge. And they come barreling out, and one snarls and goes, Man and flesh, they talk, too. What? Um, she is going to... Let's see, what is she going to do? Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, Breckles, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Yeehaw. Let's get possessed. That's an eight. That's an eight. You are like, oh, you go to grab another dart, and as you go to grab another dart, <laughs> your entire body seizes up. Uh, you are currently paralyzed at the moment. As the, the witch kind of twists her hand, your body kind of snaps and tenses, uh, and she is going to uh, fly over here, uh, begins to kind of like swirl and coalesce again. Uh, that ends their turn. Uh, this wolf uh, basically leaps up. This is actually Lee right here. Uh, and the wolf snaps up towards Lee. Oh, um, Lee. And he, he drops the fishing rod and he looks terrified. He grows for a dagger at his side. The wolves just have enough time to enter into the fray. They can't attack yet. It brings us down now to Borky. It is now your turn. Borky uh, just Borky just stuffs the, the, the hag goblet back into his fanny pack, closes it. Borky's upset because he feels like he's to blame for this. Borky pulls out his axe, and Borky goes into a frenzied rage. Alrighty, frenzied rage. Borky goes into an orky rage. And Borky charges right at the wolf going for Lee. Okay. It's time to get orky. It's time to get Borky. And Borky just runs and goes into an orky frenzied rage. And that means that I get an extra attack too, right? Um, starting when you choose path, you can go into Friends of Rage. If you so the duration of your rage, can, you can make a single melee weapon attack as a bonus action. Okay. So you can't do it this turn, but you get your two attacks. Okay. But on your following turn, you can you could forego your bonus action to, to hit a third time. Okay, no worries. All right, Borky swings his great axe. Okay. At the wolf. 15. Wolf here. 15, that hits. All righty. Eight. Eight, all right. You take your ax and you slash the wolf. This is wolf number three. You watch as a spray of red blood now soaks into the perfect white pelt of the wolf. And it <laughs> snarls at you as you come into the battle. Yeah, Borky just yells and plus, yells at him. Plus two, actually, plus two, so that's, yeah, yeah that's yeah, brings yeah. it down to this. Sorry. Yeah, no worries. And Borky grabs his ax, just like throws it to his other hand and swings to the side again. <laughs> 27. That hits. Jesus. 17 damage, damage plus two. 19 points of damage. That brings it down to... Okay, there we go. You, once again, swing and lay into it. This thing is huge. It's very bulky and stocky. You cleave into its shoulder again, and the wolf, <laughs> like, snarls. You watch as it snarls almost like icy wind kind of blows out of its mouth and its nostrils as you do so. That ends your turn. Uh, Taurus awaits your command. What do you want Taurus to do? Go fight the one closest to us. Okay, Taurus. Engage. 
runs off, engages the one closest to you. I'm so happy I have the stats right in front of me. Uh, and he's gonna go for his signature bite attack. That absolutely hits. He rolled a 19. Let me grab my dice because I forgot to get out my dice. That is a, yep, okay. Oof, eight points of damage. You watch as, as Taurus like barrels over the snow and then leaps on top of the wolf's shoulder blade and sinks its teeth in and the wolf begins to shake as Taurus is staying latched on. So that's eight points to this one here. Okay, not bad. All righty. Task, it is now your turn. Is Hasrod really running away? Uh, he's like, looks like he's ready to. He's looking a little freaked out. So she has the giant wolf is now like licking its chops and looking at I'm, Hasrod. I'm, I'm going to toss him my sickle and say, shed some skin and look alive. All right, uh, you will roll a reflex save or a dexterity check with disadvantage because he's still, that's, well, that's, I that's gonna, a I was gonna throw, not, not at him, I was gonna throw it like next to him. Okay, yeah, you easily do that well enough. You just kind of lob it, and it lands. He goes, he looks at it on the ground, he goes, looks up to you, he goes, are you serious? Either that or we all die. God damn it. <laughs> he looks back to the wolf, and the wolf is just like slowly stalking towards him. You see him sweating, he's like, <laughs> and he like kind of like is trying to lean over to grab it. That, uh, what else do you want to do in your turn? I told him, I said, that's why I told him shed some skin. Yeah. Oh, uh, let me see how intelligent he is. Oh no. He is very intelligent. That was an 18. Plus, I don't even need to look at his modifier. He's very smart. Uh, alrighty. All right, turn, <laughs> he turn. He gets the picture. I will say that will take your bonus action to throw him the weapon. That's fine. I'm gonna mm -hmm. take my shot at Wolf Boy, so I'll get my two hits in. Which one are you aiming for? The one that Borky is fighting or the one that uh, Tarsk is? Tarsk is fighting. Hey. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. and since he already took damage, I get Colossus Slayer on him. Yeah. Sick. All right, let me get my sheet up. Sorry, different computer. Oh, man. Oh. Nat oh. 20. Wow. <laughs> all righty. Here we go. Oh God, all those dice. <laughs> and then that one there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> 20, 26, and then hunt. No, you didn't hunter's mark. So Colossus Slayer. Yeah, I can't. I can't hunter's mark. No, yeah, I used it up. Uh, all right. So that's no, twenty six. Not that I used it up. I can't bonus action. Yeah, no. Um, so that's twenty six, and then Colossus Slayer. Yep, that's the seven. Oh, that's the seven. All right, all right, yeah. All right, so twenty six points of damage. Not right, bad. Now, now my second hit for my next trick. Fifteen. Okay, uh, that does hit as well. That's a 13. 13, all right. You lay into this thing, two arrow shots, ching, ching, into both shoulder blades and the and the wolf buckles almost in agony. All righty, that brings us to the kids, including Hasrad. Yeah. Uh, all righty. Um, so, Hmm, okay. Big yeah. Big damage. <laughs> Hostrad, Hostrad is going to uh, take off a coat. He's going to throw it. He's now wearing, he's wearing, he's wearing four. He takes off one coat. Uh, he takes off a second coat, so now he's down to three, and he's going to grab the sickle. Uh, and he's going to stay in place. Uh, he turns to the kids, he goes, get underneath the cart! And uh, the kids will begin to run. They'll begin to make their move. Uh, Lee is going to disengage and he's going to kind of turn behind you. Uh, the wolf snaps at him as he runs, but he manages to kind of like avoid being hit. I yell at it to uh, get his attention. Greckles, uh, you are still paralyzed. Mm -hmm. um, you can only make the, the saving throw at the end of your turn. So you need to make another wisdom saving throw for me. Yeah. That's a 13. That's a 13. You try so desperately, but you're still stuck. You can't do anything. And the hag is just pointing at you and she's like, like almost falling off of her staff, just like pointing her finger, just laughing at you. Just like, ah! <laughs> like 
like she's having a field day. Uh, sadly, that ends your turn. You are still paralyzed. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Alrighty. She's going to move. She's going to fly on back to the middle of the lake. And I need to double check the paralyzed condition for you. Sorry, just going to double check this real fast. Damn you, Gruntilda. Damn you, Gruntilda. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I'm going to, since I have headphones on, I'm going to go ahead and just put that on in the background now. <laughs> uh, she comes down low to the ground, uh, and she is going to... This is a... Oh, yeah, she's going to hit all of you. She's going of colding, isn't she? Uh, yeah, she absolutely is. I need everybody to make a uh, Greckles, Borky, and Lee, uh, and the wolf. Uh, you guys need to make a constitution saving throw. Oh boy. <sighs> Here I go being tough. 11. No, but, oh, 17. Oh, you automatically fail actually, Greckles, because you're paralyzed. Fuck! I rolled good too. Oh wait, or do you? It's Is a it constitution good? save though. Not actually, a no, save. you're right, you're right. 17, you're good. Uh, so you pass, Borky, you fail, and Lee rolled a two, so he fails as well. Oh, Jesus. Uh, this is gonna be a lot of dice. Give me two seconds here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Child is dead. No, we have killed child. Reboot. Child is dead. Killed child. Oh, goodness. One, two. Sorry, I didn't realize it was this many dice. I should have had these pre prepared. Bad DM. Bad. Yeah, I'll just roll these. <laughs> Excelsior! <laughs> Seven. Don't banish him to another dimension where he makes comics. <laughs> All right, uh, Borky, you take 27 points of, of cold damage. Oh, no, I'm immune to cold. You're you're resistant to cold. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> it, it means you take that. half. You take half. Uh, so Greckles and Borky, you take 13 points of damage. Lee, with his two hit points immediately gets hit with the spell and freezes instantaneously into a statue. <gasps> Shit! Oh, fuck. This kid's dead. We no, don't know. Dead. no, we don't. We don't know that yet. He just, she just said two hit points. He's fucking dead. No, he's, he's technically bleeding out. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's frozen. He's, he's frozen. <laughs> um, that ends, uh, that ends the hag's turn. Uh, she used her full movement. Uh, the wolf in front of you, Borky. Uh, oh, he also takes damage. Uh, I didn't roll for him. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, yeah, he passes. That's a 19 Oh, plus. for God's sake. Plus two. Yeah, so it's 11. He's fine. He still takes half damage, though. He takes 13 points. Uh, so that brings him down to... Okay. The wolf is going to uh, attack you, Borky. Uh, just one. Okay. That is 15 plus six. That's a 21 to hit you. Yeah. Okay. So that is 10 points of piercing damage. And I need you to make a DC 14 strength saving throw uh, for me. I need to... uh, is now rage blocks half piercing, right? Yeah. So that is, uh, that's brought down to five. Uh, and I need, what save do you need to make? Uh, strength saving throw for me. Strength saving throw, okay. And that is a natural 20. It tries to knock you over, but you manage to like chest bump it away and it's, it kind of staggers back. Can, uh, I, can I use this natural 20 to disengage without any issue when I knock it back then? No, it's okay. just like you just, you stop its attempt essentially. Um, actually you knock it prone. That'll be fun. Nice. So you knock it, you it, you like, it goes to, you, you have a, you just chest bump it, it falls backwards. I love the snail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the wolf in front of Tarisk. Uh, let's see here. 
It is going to go for a bite attack on Tarisk. That is a 14, which just hits his armor class. Even with his new duds? Even with his new duds. They're not technically armor. It's it's an insulated thing. It keeps them from getting warm. taking yeah, it keeps them warm from like regular snow climate. Alright. Um so that is five. I just need to write down his health here. Is he fully healed? So that brings him down to that. Okay. Alrighty. Uh the last wolf is going to go after Hosrod. That can move fifty. Feet, so it will be bite him, Hasrod, bite him. The wolf gallops towards Hasrod. Let me grab Hasrod's health real fast. He can't uh, be a healthy boy. I got it. I gotta grab him. Oh, he's under employees. There he is. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. He leveled up. That's correct. He's been working. All right. <laughs> Has he? <laughs> he's, he's always working. Uh, the wolf leaps into the air. Um, to bite him, that's a natural one. Nice. Uh, yeah. As the wolf leaps up, Hostred flips out an arm and goes, pocket snake, and a snake just pops out and hits the, <laughs> hits the bites the wolf in the face. <laughs> Excellent. Yes, pocket snake. Ar- artists, artists, please. You have your mission. Please, pocket snake. The wolf like lands on the ground and starts shaking and roaring as this tiny little corn snake is attached and is being whipped around like crazy. Uh, that ends their turn. Uh, it brings us back to Borky. It is now your turn. The wolf in front of you is prone at the moment. Now, how do you, can you disengage from a prone? You can just disengage from a prone. It can't take, it can't take an attack of opportunity from you, I don't believe. It's on its, it's on its back. Now, if I want to grab two people and run with them, like, it's cause like, Sorry, not to meta game here. I'm just trying to think of the situation. You can, you can pick up a person. You, you would be basically half your movement. At that point, I just open myself up to attacks and stuff from her. <sighs> this is she. She. She can't attack you as a reaction. No. No, I'm just. It's like I'm just worried that something's wrong with the kid. How low is to the ground is she right now? She is currently like just hovering above the water. She's technically on ground level at this point. Borky puts the axe away, and Borky pulls out the magical fey sword. What was, okay. its, what was its name again? It's called... The, the, the War Mage's Vengeance. The War Mage's Vengeance. Borky pulls out the sword. It holds it up. Shing! Does she react at all? Uh, let me acknowledge Arcana that. I don't think she'll know. I'll give her a disadvantage because I don't think she would know. Yeah, she has no idea. She kind of looks perplexed at the at the weapon. Doesn't seem to know what exactly it's for. And Borky disengages from the wolf and runs right at her. Okay, the wolf does get an attack of opportunity, but with disadvantage because it's prone. Okay. Oh, that's a four. That's not going to hit you, even with his bonuses. And yeah, Borky that's a ten. right at her with the sword. He's still in his frenzy rage, so he gets a second attack. Yeah, it's three. You, get, you get three attacks technically because so, uh, you. Uh, what, what, so this, what was the name of the this, this sword? Now, what, how do the rules for the sword work again? Let's do this. I will, I will, I will do it for you. I will tell you. Okay. So you need to. You're going right up to her. You go right into the water, uh, but you're fine. Yeah. Um, the 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 tea actually kind of saves you from having to make a check. Yep. So you're going to attack her. You have three attacks in a frenzied rage. Yep. All right, so attack number one. Yep. Roll the hit. You gotta roll. What, well, what, what do I, do I, what works? roll your attack. Is it the great you sword? Roll, is, it's, it's, like, the great, it's the great sword in your inventory, yeah. Great sword, okay. First attack. That is a 13. You swing at her and she like rolls over on the broomstick and like flips upside down and she's like, ah! <laughs> uh, so you miss your first attack. Stab her in the fucking face. <laughs> Uh, Hello? I'm sorry, I'm trying to think of, don't I have an ability called Reckless Attack? Like, or is that, do I not have that as this level? You have to announce that before you make an attack. Uh, it's just, it's not in my abilities on my player sheet. Sorry, I don't mean to be a uh, bad player here. I just okay, Reckless to... reckless Attack. Sorry. So basically, when you use Reckless Attack, you gain advantage on your attack. 
Okay. But the enemies gain advantage on you. Okay. So that one is, uh, that one is, okay. where is it? Where is it? Yeah, I'm trying to find it in my actual list here. Sorry. Reckless attack. Target at seven level, you can throw aside all concerns for defense to attack with fierce determination. When you make your first attack on your turn, you can decide to attack recklessly. So that's for your first attack. So next round, you can decide to do that. Okay. Sorry, one second. I just, it wasn't on my... Sorry, one second. I'm trying to get my book open here. Where the earth is Druid? Sorry, is it is Barbarian? Sorry. Barbarian's near the front. Barbarian's on page... Yeah, it's alphabetical. 48. It's, it's alphabetical. It's 48. You should have it there in your character sheet. I'm pretty sure I, I loaded up everybody's stats. Uh, there. Yeah, I got da I got right, right, relentless endurance, savage attacks, uh, tavern brawler rage, and danger sense. And oh, rage. okay. Sorry, I'll add that in later. My bad. That, that, All right, that's okay. I should, so I should, you can't I should, you can't I should, I should, you, should you can't do it on this this turn just because it has to be your first attack, but okay. you can do it on your next turn. I do apologize for this, everybody. Uh, Rules. Oh, Borky's gonna roll. Borky's like just he's like got you say runs kind of plan right now, so he's just gonna keep swinging. Okay. Oh, wow. This is okay. Um, sorry. Oopsie, that I don't know Hurt. why that happened. No, it's good. I dropped the book actually. <laughs> uh oh. I dropped the book. All right. And, so like, you like, swing again, and the and the once again the hag kind of like rears up the the her broom, and you just completely like you you nick the broom, but it just doesn't work. Um. One more attack. You yeah, have your frenzy attack. Why not? Twenty-five. There we go. Twenty-five. That hits. And Borky rolls his damage. Fourteen. Okay, that's sixteen. And then I need you to roll one d ten. We were so close to having Ultra three. Instinct Grandma. Right. Okay, sixteen to three. That's nineteen points of damage. So that brings her down to this mount. You, she's like cackling, she's laughing and laughing, and then you cut up the length of her arm and she lets out this horrific howl of pain. And she just glares at you with this glowing arcane intensity. She looks right mad. Alrighty, okay, that well, ends your sorry, turn. I dropped the book, actually it was in my hand, and <laughs> I wasn't holding it properly because I'm trying to look at my stat sheet at the same time. Ugh. All right, uh, next up is Tarisk. Taurus is going to attempt to bite again. Keep, keep at him. That is a four plus, oh, that's, that, no, that does not hit. You watch as Taurus bites and snaps at the wolf's feet, but the wolf is like kind of backing up out of the way. Uh, it is now your turn, Task. All right, well, let's down this idiot right quick. Hunter's mark on the wolf. Okay. And let's fire. Uh, if I, God damn it, this thing, it's okay, you're on a weird computer. Yeah. Pro tip, don't fucking play, don't use Roll D20 on a MacBook Pro. Oh dear. <laughs> it sucks, it fucking sucks. 12. Wait, you go, uh, yeah. you go to fire and the wolf just kind of like, you, you think you're gonna hit it in the shoulder, but its fur is so long and puffy. You actually just like nick it through the fur. Son of a bitch, all right, try one more time. 21. That hits. 13 plus five and... Hunter's Mark. Yep, Hunter's Mark, here I go. Four. Wow, it like rears up to bite down on Taurus and you shoot it through the neck. Accurately, it goes right through the neck and oh, slumps down dead, a rush of snow erupting around it. Nice. I, my, as, my, as a free action, I'll say, Taurus, go assist, uh, go assist Toss Rod. Tarisk nods. Good shooting, Tarisk. Alrighty. Uh, it is now the children's turn. All the kids are going to run underneath the wagon. So we're all now underneath the wagon. Hasrud with the sickle as the as the wolf is still shaking its head off. I gotta grab his freaking stats. He's never fought before. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, Learn, motherfucker, you're working for us. More pocket snakes. He literally has no weapons. Uh, let me actually look up Yuan-Ti abilities, because he might actually have something there. Can he have, like, doesn't- yeah, don't Yuan-Ti have, like, some poison bite? weapon? Or a bite okay. attack? Something. They probably have some. Let me look up. Uh... Okay. Alrighty. 
<laughs> I didn't know you could do that, Hasrod. Neither did I. Okay, Hostrod is going to um, cast Suggestion on the wolf. Yo. Uh, so he looks up at the wolf with any, like, the wolf, like, whips and the snake lands into the snow dead. Oh. Um, and the wolf snarls and Hasrod goes, hey, can you be cool? Like, just kind of shrugging. And you watch as his eyes glow with an arcane ability. Let's see if the wolf can save. Where's the wolf? What is the save for this spell? Uh, suggestion. Oh, shoot. I gotta look this up. Sorry. Sorry. I think, I think it's a wisdom spell. It's a wisdom save. I'm 100% certain. Suggestion. Wisdom save. Yeah, I figured. I just wanted to double check. Sorry. Uh, where is your wisdom, Mr. Wolf? Oh, you actually have a decent wisdom. Let's try this. That is a seven. So the wolf fails, and the wolf kind of just like stops. And Hostage's like, cool, cool. <laughs> Can you be cool? <laughs> Hostage just pulled Ka out of nowhere, right? Trust in me. <laughs> like, just yeah. chill out, bruh. Chill out, chill out, dude. Hipster Ka. I... No, that's, that, uh, that's a sexier snake than Angelina Jolie. <laughs> that ends Hostrad's turn. The wolf just kind of looks at him. It's got blood dripping out of its nose, but it's it's cool. It's fine. Um, all right, that brings us around back to Greckles. I need you to make another uh, wisdom saving throw for me. Here we go. That's a six. Oh You're ah, 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 no. You're still frozen. You can't even talk. Oh, God, he's going Grex. He's going, uh, what, what is it? What do we call him? Gackles. Grackles. Geckles. 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 Yeah, he's going Geckles right now. Oh, dear. Alrighty. Uh, it is now the Hag's turn. Uh, she is going to... Uh, she is going to fly away from you, Borky, so you get an attack of opportunity on her using your reaction, if you'd like. I would... L oh, I wish I could grab on and punch her off her own broom. No, you have to. This is just a swipe at her because she's the very best. Grab her and beat the shit out of her with it. <laughs> All right, take an attack of opportunity, and that is a twenty. That hits. Let's roll that damage. Ten plus two because you're raging, and then I need you to roll a one d twelve for me. I'd love these rolls to be good for sixteen. You All right, wolf, buddy. Sixteen. That brings her down to. Okay. Alrighty. So she flies away. You manage to swipe at her leg. She's gonna fly over here and then she's going to cast a uh, ray of frost on you. Uh, oh, I lost her, her stats because I was looking up the auntie stuff. There we go. It's okay. Oh, that's a miss. That's a 12. That doesn't hit you. She shoots out a ray of frost, and you just like you close your eyes, and it poops into the water. Uh, that ends her turn. Really work out for her. Um, the wolf in front of you is going to get up from being prone, uh, and it is going to go for you, Greckles. Does it take a? Uh, no, it, it moved into your combat space, not out. So it gets up, takes half its movement, walks over to Greckles, and it is going to bite at you, Greckles. Uh huh. And I believe that counts as a crit, because you're paralyzed. Wait, really? That's prone paralysis auto crit? Wait, is everyone still there? Yeah. I'm here. Okay, it got really quiet all of a sudden. Yeah. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Hi. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. My, my everything just flashed. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. I'll check your audio recording, Nidhi. Okay, my audio stopped, so I'm just gonna save this as a file. Okay, and we'll do a one, two, three sync afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't, don't worry. It's tech. Don't worry. It happens. It happens. That scared, scared the dickens out of me. I was gone. All right, one second, guys. We're gonna take a temper. Just quick. There's a big thunderstorm rolling in. Oh, that's why. I just looked outside. It's black. It's the witch. The hag's real now. Shit. The hag's real. Ah! Oh my goodness. I can't believe you've done this. Okay, I'm just saving my project. I am so sorry, guys. All right. Yeah. What is this, 51? This is 51. Do we have to save all of our audio? Well, oh, just me. Just... I just I just cut out. You know my, my recording stopped, no, no, so. No, no, we, 
We could just resync it back up with your new audio. Yeah. Yeah. We just do another oh, one well, resync. We, you didn't need to stop oh, well, yours. Just... You didn't need to stop yours at all, Zito. Oh, oh for goodness. fuck's sake! All right. <laughs> it's all good. Oh my god, my heart just stopped. Oh. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> we could just okay. jump back in. Okay, let's just wait until, uh, let me, I'm gonna start recording again. Hi, Austin, this is part two of Electric Boogaloo. Hello, Yay, Austin. Boogaloo. Yeah, me too, son of a bitch, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, this could be the case, okay, all good. All right, one, two, three, sync. Sync. sink. One, two, three, sync. Sink. One, two, three, sink. Sink. Oh, I'm scared now, I'm super shaky and nervous. All right, no worries. so the, the, the wolf gets advantage to hit you, Grekles, and if it hits you, it does count as a crit. Okay. Is how this works, so. That is an eight plus six. That is a 14 is the first roll. And the second roll is actually a 15. Does a 15 hit you? I'd be denied my dex bonus, right? Um, You just failed dexterity saving throws. Oh, um, I've so, got an AC of, I got an AC oh, of 16. Oh, hold on. It's technically you're incapacitated. So you can't take, okay, yeah, no, you, it misses. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. The wolf. Like, uh, right. bites at you, and like, bites off, it doesn't understand your hat is a hat, and it basically bites your hat. Oh, you bitch! It, it, again, it, just, just, gr just grackles. There he is, just, just standing there. <laughs> this whole time, is... just bird face, real bird face, while this is all happening. Real bird face. I just want uh, the sweat drops on the, on the feathers. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Um, that ends that wolf's turn. The other wolf, uh, let me look up suggestion again. See if it gets a save. I think it does. No, nope, I need suggestion. Try B. Oh my god, I'm, I'm shaking. Uh, it's gonna be okay. Uh. Oh, okay. So if it gets damaged, it's out, but it, it can't. So it's just sitting there. You watch as, as Hosser's like, sit, and the wolf sits down. <laughs> Uh, that ends its turn. It is now, Borky, it is now your turn. The hag is still low to the ground. She hasn't actually gone up into the air yet. Borky looks over and sees that Greckles is like just staring at him with, with the only described as bloodshot eyes. If <laughs> eyes could be pleading of, for the love of God, stop it. <laughs> Borky turns, puts the holy blade, puts, puts that beautiful, gorgeous blade away, pulls out his ax. Uh, Borky starts swinging home. He's still in his, and Borky's gonna go into a reckless attack too. On this, yeah, your reckless attack. All right, Borky, so you have advantage. Borky's gonna, he's got frenzied rage and reckless attack. Borky is scared for his friends and the children because he sees that frozen child, and Borky's just mad as shit right now. Borky swings. Twenty six. That's twenty six. That hits. And that is thirteen points of damage plus two. Fifteen. Borky. Fifteen. So while we keep going, okay. just keep going. Three. One second, I'm just calculating damage. Do you All right. three attacks, or is it just the two now? He's still got three attacks if he okay. foregoes his bonus action. Yeah, oh, okay. Unless, one second, this reckless attack, I don't think reckless, oh my god, the power just flickered again. I'm scared. Uh, that hits. All right, so another, all right, Borky keeps going. And 10 plus two. That does it. You cleave the wolf's head clean off as it crashes to the ground. I still have an additional attack. Can I pull out another weapon attack a different target, or am I stuck here? Uh, you can move as well. You can break up your attacks by moving. Oh, you can. I can break up my attacks by moving. Well, Borky... Wait. So I can move and then attack? You can move and then attack, yeah. Borky's gonna turn with his axe, and Borky's just gonna charge right at that hag. Okay. Bor actually, Borky... Borky ain't even gonna attack the hag. Borky's gonna spear the hag. Okay, with the javelin? No, with himself. Off her damn floating thing. That would take an action, so no. You oh, can't you can't? Set, oh, you can't Borky's that, just gonna no. run at her with an axe. Okay. Uh, ah! 13. As you swing, she begins to rise into the air. You just miss her. I, I, I whiffed her. Dang you it. You did, yeah. Uh, it's Tarisk's turn. Tarisk. I, I told him to assist Hasrod, but yeah. Uh, Tarisk will use the dash action. Oh, oh my god. I heard that. I heard that. I heard I heard that. that. 
Oh, I'm spooked. All right, guys, if this ends here, we might have a short session, just so you're warned on both the podcast and stream. This is what happens, guys. This hag is so powerful that it's actually affecting the real life around Monty. This is, this is- Oh this... my God, the rain. Oh my God, the rain. Okay, I'm spooked. All right, uh, ha uh, Taurus runs over and sits down in front of Hostrad too. Immediately. <laughs> 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 he's like, well, hey, he's doing it. I'm gonna do it too. Alrighty, that ends his turn. Task, it is now your turn. Passing that mark onto the hag. Alright, hag is marked. Taking a shot at hag. Okay. Here I go, shoot the hag. 29. Oh, wow. Okay. That definitely hits. Roll for damage. Alright, that's 7 plus 8, and now hunter's mark. 18. Five. Oh, lovely. 20 damage, not 20. bad. And now for my next attack. <laughs> 18. Uh, that hits as well. Oh my All god, right, so I that's... can't even see outside my window. This is legitimately terrifying. So seven plus three. Yeah, that's tor torrential downpour indeed. 10. It is a literal torrential downpour that outside. It is- Happened actually before. Oh my god, oh my lord. Oh, the trees like bend sideways. I'm spooked. Okay, um, I gotta focus. Uh, the game. It's okay. You, you shoot solidly into both sides of a side underneath the rib cage. She almost gets knocked off the broom as she's raising off, but as she gets knocked over, she kind of does like a like a roll and then manages to steady herself and keeps rising up into the air. Uh, it is now the children's turn. They're going to stay, and Hostrad is going to is going to turn to the the, the wolf. He's gonna go. Now go home. <laughs> Think about what you've done. Bad dog. Bad. Oh. And, and Taurus looks sad. Like not you. You. Um, <laughs> I have the wolf make another saving throw just for this command. That that's a four. That's gonna fail. The wolf. Uh, the wolf is now gonna probably leave. Sad uh, music. music. It is gonna run away with with tears streaming down its wolf face. No. It is out of, it is out of combat. It runs away. Uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. Roll another wisdom save. Okay. That's a four. I'm so sorry. You're... No! You are still frozen. I feel really bad. That's... You're rolling really badly. I'm so sorry. Uh, it is now the Hag's turn. She is rising up into the sky, currently glowing like a weather balloon with the blinking hunter's mark. Uh, she is going to fly over to here. Getting shot with those arrows made her very upset. So she is going to cast a spell called Ice Storm on you. She begins to swirl, and it's a 20-foot radius. Alrighty, so it's oh, going to hit the kids. Oh, oh, they're, under, they're, under, they're under the oh, okay. wagon. Oh, okay. Uh, so I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. For uh, me? me? Yeah. All right. Dex save. Here I go. Not natural one. 22. All right. You save, so you take half damage. So let me just roll this damage here super fast. <laughs> Uh, sorry, digging through my dice here. Alrighty, oh, there's one. Okay. Oof. Okay. Uh, incoming thunder, by the way. It just flashed real big outside. And there it is. Alright, sorry, I'm just counting this all up. It's 12, that's 16. 18. It's 26 cut in half. That is 13 points of damage. Ouch. Half of it is bludgeoning damage and half of it is cold damage. As she swirls and a black cloud <laughs> um, swirls above you and it just rains down giant hail shards. And some of them sink into your skin, bashing you in the shoulders. Your helmet, you hear kong, 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 kong as it hits your helmet. Uh, the ground around you, 20 feet around, uh, is considered difficult terrain at this point. Jesus. As there's just a spike field of ice around you. That's okay, bitch. I don't need to move. That ends her turn. That brings it back to Borky. It is now your turn. Um, okay. Uh, intimidation is a bonus action? Uh, 
Uh, yeah. Borky's gonna bonus action and Borky's gonna pull out the goblet. Can you do that when you're in a rage? I don't know, actually. I'm curious. Um, let, me check up, let me check up the rules for rage real fast here. Rage. When you advantage of strength checks and strength saving throws when you make melee weapon attacks. Uh, you, no, you can. You can attempt to intimidate. Okay. Well, good morning, I should intimidate. Borky's gonna pull out. Borky goes, Hey! You! Screams. And she, and she, she turns and looks to you. Borky's holding the actual goblet, the, the hag goblet. You know how she died? Do you really want to know? It she was, doesn't seem to care. It was hilarious. And the same is going to happen to you. I'm going to take really? you to a city. A city you can't leave. Roll intimidation. Ooh. Not happening. Ten. Yeah, she rolled a nineteen plus Damn. one, so that's a twenty. She just starts <laughs> just laughing her head off as ice is descending down. The children are screaming underneath the wagon as as it is being currently pulverized with shards of ice. Borky, okay. I bet can I text something? I'm gonna type something to you real fast, Nadine. I don't wanna shout it out because I don't want to get people's hopes up. Please make it public. It makes it easier. We, I'd, like, li I'd like to activate Gripples and throw it at her. You can't do that. He has to be on the ground. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No worries. All right. Well, Borky's going to do then. He doesn't know what to do because he can't jump up that high. Cause he's 40 you still feet. have attacks. He's so. 20 feet in the air. She, she's about 30 or so. At the, actually, how, how high is she? Uh, yeah, like she's 40 feet in the air at yeah. the moment. There's no way Borky can get that high. So Borky's going to pull out. Or he reaches in and grabs his javelins that he has a set amount of. Thank Borky you. Borky starts, <laughs> Borky starts throwing the javelins. Javelin storm! Borky throws the javelin. And it hey, hit. That hits. 19. What is the distance on your javelin, though? She's really, she's 40 feet away. 40 feet? Javelin, okay. A javelin's, I think, well, a javelin is like a, is it? 30 to 120, so. Okay. And I'll say, I'll say you hit. Screw it. 40 feet. All right. Yeah. And Borky. Six plus two, that's eight points of damage. Borky throws another javelin. Sixteen. Okay. That also hits. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't hit. You actually, you swing, and yeah. you think you hit her through the snowstorm, but no, it doesn't. And, and Borky, for his last one, pulls out the dragon-throwing axe. Uh, okay. You use your bonus action to, to intimidate. You can't use your bonus action to use the, the attack with your... Your frenzied rage. Oh, do I have to announce I'm restless hacking each turn? Okay. Well, no. When you, when you do your third turn in your frenzied rage, it count. You have to forego your bonus action to do it. Oh. To make that third attack. Oh. So. Okay. You chose to intimidate instead. Oh. So. Dang. That's okay. No worries. That's uh. That's ignorance on my part. Okay. Thank you. All right. It is Taurus' turn. Taurus is going to uh, sit in front of Hostra, and Hostra's like, "Go! No, shoot! Go away! Go away!" Um, task, it is now your turn. The hag is kind of encircling. She's currently got a javelin in her back shoulder. I don't need to move, bitch. I'm gonna fire. Okay. 28. That's a 24. All right. Roll for damage. That is 11. And then, uh, Hunter's I'm... Mark. Yep. Let me add Hunter's Mark onto that. Shoot her. Five. 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 So that's Shoot her! fifteen. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. All right. Still... Now, I just wanted to use one basic attack. Now I wanted to forego Hunter's Mark to go into Hail of Thorns. Alrighty. I have to uh, at least hit her, though. Yeah, you have to hit her. All right. And she has to make a dexterity saving throw. That's a seventeen to hit. That hits. That just barely hits. And she gets a dexterity saving throw as well. All right. So that's eight, and then I gotta add Hail of Thorns onto that. Okay. Well, she got a six with her dexterity throw, so she fails. Uh, so she takes full damage. So uh, that is. Let's see. Eight. If you cast a spell using the spell slot, the damage increases by one d10 higher. I need to save one. My last. Uh, I need to save my last spell for healing, so I'm only gonna do level one. Come 
on three. That's that's a pittance. Okay, but, that's nope. eleven points. But yeah, so pretty much like like three hundred, a hail of fucking, a hail of arrows shoot down from the sky above her. Ah! She begins to scream. She's a pin cushion at this point. Uh, that ends your turn. Ooh, Hostra, do you have anything? Let me just double check and see if he's got anything else up his sleeve. Uh, boyo, buddy. Boyo, friendo. Uh, <laughs> he has animal friendship. Yay! Uh, no, he's got jack, unless he can throw the sickle. Let me double check and see if he can throw the sickle. <laughs> Uh, it'd be hilarious if he can. Sickle, 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 sickle. It's a light weapon. It is not thrown. So no, he can't throw the sickle at her. Uh, he just stays there. Um, actually, no, he already used it on the wolf. Um, he's just gonna stay there and kind of like hugging Taurus for dear life as this, this avalanche of snow continues to fall. Uh, that brings it to Greckle's saving throw. I oh swear. Oh my to... god, are you kidding me? Go ahead. Greckle's has a bad day. I'm so sorry. He was frozen today. <laughs> oh my god. Um, that is... It is. The hag being hurt and damaged is going to, uh, she's going to use her full movement to attempt to leave. She starts blasting off on her broomstick away uh, because she is currently scared. So she's 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 motoring. Uh, Borky, it is now your turn. Okay. All right. Um, so she's trying to get away? Yeah, she's she's starting to, to like to really book off. She's still 40 feet in the air and she's just like- She is? Uh, yeah, she's, she's still running. Is there a tree? Is there anything nearby that Borky can climb up? It is a clearing. It is the the pond, and then there's like trees way off. I'm trying to think of what I can do in this scenario. Ah, uh, Borky's still got three javelins, so Borky's just screams, "Get, get, get back here!" And Borky still reckless attacking. Okay. Borky's gonna keep on. Borky's gonna pull out two. Orky's gonna first of all throw one javelin. Thirteen. 15. You throw and she just spins and misses. All right. Remember. All right. Orky's gonna throw another javelin. Very okay. recklessly. Twenty-six. That one hits. Roll damage. That's nine. As you rear back and she's like, <laughs> you immediately pin her and you knock her off the staff. The staff goes careening and crashes kind of uh, vertical into the ground. And then she just face plants. And as she falls, she shatters into ice onto the ground, dead. Oh, oh, oh. Hasrod, check on the kids. The uh, the storm that's coalescing above just fizzles away. Hasrod's right. like, ah, ah, yeah, yeah, Meryl, Meryl, are you okay? And he runs right. over and Flat, the kids are like- Slide across the place. All right, uh, Greckles, you eventually, it, it, it's numbing, but eventually you begin to loosen. Okay. Borky, right. uh, Borky's gonna run and inspect the staff, not touch it, inspect the staff and like where she fell apart. All right, uh, she's into shattered pieces. There is a satchel on her side. Um, the staff itself appears to be kind of like fizzling, almost as if like the power is sort of leaving it at the moment. Hmm. Borky, uh, well, uh, so Bor Bor can Borky like investigate what he's looking at real fast here? Like, or just are perceived? Roll, if, if you roll an investigation, it means you touch it. Borky's not gonna touch it. Okay. Uh, Borky's, the bag though is on the ground. Is nothing yeah. in, no nothing ominous about the bag at all? It's like a leather pouch. Borky's going to hmm. Okay. If I am if I investigated, do I have to touch it? Yeah. 
Borky, Borky remembers what was told, what, how Task chastised him about touching the sword because it could be dangerous or cursed, and this is a hag we're dealing with, it's dark magic. So Borky's gonna look at the, Borky's gonna grab the satchel though. Okay, you grab it. Yeah, Borky's gonna it's look. Cold. It. It's very cold. Borky's gonna look inside it, but kind of like away a little bit, away from his face, and like slowly peer into it. All right. It. Inside, peering back at you, is a human eye, uh, a human eye encased in ice. And it kind of looks up at you. Oh, good. Borky looks a human eye. Borky looks back at it. It doesn't blink because it has no eyelids. Just kind of stares. Borky closes the bag on it. Okay, you close the bag on it. Borky uh, just kind of ties it to his side, essentially. All right, you, you tie it next to the fanny pack of holding. Yeah. Uh, right. The kids immediately scramble over to Lee, who is completely frozen in ice. I'm going to start trying to safely firebolt him to get Roll him a thawed. medicine check. And the moment, the moment there's like bare flesh shown or like his face is out of the ice, I'm casting uh, Cure Wounds. That's a seven. Okay. You don't know, like, you don't know if that'll work. Uh, you begin to cast uh, your Firebolt spell. Uh, you eventually melt away and his hand is out. Uh, his hand that was like clutching the dagger, you managed to heat up and get that visible. All right, well, we need to get his head out in the open first before I can cast this Cure Wound spell. How weak is the ice at this point? Because if it's if it's weak enough, I'd rather just try to break it off. Uh, you're doing enough, like, kind of a blowtorch sort of effect with your firebolt. Eventually, you do kind of melt away the face. The eyes are completely frozen. Do we, are okay, no, oh, here we go. Okay. Cure Wounds. Kid's getting 7 HP back. You touch him, he is frozen solid. Nothing happens. The energy itself doesn't even enter his body. It just dissipates. Yeah, this kid's dead. Hostrad walks up. Mm. <sighs> Blood. You need it? I need everyone to give me blood right now. Dreckles holds out his talon. <sighs> Tass takes a dagger and slices the wrist. Borky clumps okay. up. What's going on? We cutting ourselves. Oh, this better be. This better be. Uh, uh. Ha Hostrad pulls out a ornate bowl, and he sets it on the ground, and he sits cross-legged in front of it. <clears throat> That gesturing was, how to much, how much damage did he take? How much damage did the kid take again? He said twenty seven. Twenty seven, all right. However many hit points left you guys have, I need you to funnel. Uh Borky has sixty Borky feels responsible. Borky's like Borky has sixty two hit points. I have thirty seven. I have nineteen. I'll do it. Okay. I'll do it. Uh yeah, I'll get. I'll give. How much do I have to do to myself to? I'll, uh, I'll give twenty. I'll, I'll, you know what? Right. Yeah, I'll give twenty. Borky okay. gives sixty. Okay. And Greckles will give nine. All right. And then out of all of you, one of you has to choose a stat to be lowered by one. Dexterity. I'll take it. No, I'll take it. Put it in con. Taken away from con. Okay, does that lower your modifier? Nope. Okay, so that is permanent. Mm -hmm. As Hasrad begins the ritual, uh, the bowl, he you pour the blood into it, he adds one of your feathers into it, mm -hmm. and he begins to chant in a language you do not understand. Oh, it's voodoo. Uh, you voodoo. don't know. Um, I... And Hasrad, who is generally a very quiet person, this is the most you've ever heard him talk. This whatever this is takes about 20 minutes as the snow is howling and he is even getting iced over as he's doing this. Meryl is holding her breath. And um, at one point he does say in, in, uh, in common, uh, Quetzal Queen, please guide my faith. 
Quetzal King, Queen, guide my hand. Quetzal Queen, guide my magic. And as he says that, the blood kind of begins to, almost like a, like it's being poured out, begins to pour away. The bowl itself is ornate and has detailings of snakes. The bowl comes apart into a bunch of golden winged snakes and it begins to kind of crawl all over the boy. <laughs> he begins to cough as the ice breaks, or, uh, breaks around him. Uh, Hasra loses two to the stat as well. Give this kid a health potion. Yeah, you give him a health potion. Roll the health potion. What are you going to lose, Hasra? All right, health potion. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Sorry. He's uh, lose two to dexterity. Oh, he lost a modifier. All right. Christ. Uh, my uh, 2d4 plus four. Hold on a second. 2d4. Blessed plus... be Snack. Blessed be Hasrod. Seven. Uh, nine. Nine. All right. You give him the health potion. The rest of the ice kind of melts away. Uh, Meryl comes over with a with a horse blanket and wraps him in the horse blanket. And uh, the uh, Lee doesn't. He's usually pretty happy. He's like pretty shaken. Um, he's kind of like shuddering and shaking. And Hasrod turns to all of you and goes, "I will never do that magic again." Yes, sir. He looks really mad, but not really because he had to do it, but because he did it. And he begins to walk towards the cart. Borky's going to uh, nudge Task real fast. Uh, got two, two wolves there. Uh, she's probably survival them. You know, cut him up real quick. Task does not respond to that and ushers the kid to the cart. Lee stumbles over to the cart and like the kids are all kind of like we're not you're not going to tell our parents right please don't tell our parents like they're really concerned about that Lee's just pretty quiet for the most part Borky's just kind of scratching his chin this place is dangerous almost as much as the jungle yeah. it's hard to be a kid in places like this Tass looks over at Meryl. Take us to a house. Um, I could take us to a, a, a paladin of Ginter. Take, it, take us somewhere where we're indoors and not in the open. Okay. Uh, do you guys load up? Or are you going to... Mm -hmm. uh, real fast, can, I'm, I'm going to survival check the... the I'm just going to try and cut... Borg's going to pull out his axe real fast and just chop at the, the wolves. Okay. Roll two survival checks there. In the meantime, Monty, I'm gonna go ahead and drop from eleven to ten. Natural, Oof. natural one on one of them. Natural one and a twenty on the other side. You walk up to the first wolf. Its head is cut off. That was your handiwork, and you're like, no. You just like, no, not even gonna, no. Yeah. Uh, you go over to the other one. Five, nothing. Okay. Five. They're so big and like, oh, boy. they're already beginning to freeze over, and the snow is beginning to fall over them. You're not able to get anything out Borky's of it. Not... You get one. You get one fang out of it. You get one winter wolf fang. All right. Uh, uh, Borky t tells Task real fast. Task. He gestures. To, he point. He points at the witch's uh, broom sticking in the ground. I ain't touching that. But we should tell someone about that. Task looks. Oh. Uh... Tass looks over at one of the jackets that Hasrod had foregone, and he's going to wrap up the stick and bring it on board. You know, this hey. actually isn't that hard. Greckles goes over to try to mage hand it out. Okay. Uh, you go, and the moment you touch it, it begins I mage to just, hand it. Yeah, the moment you, you touch it with mage hand, it begins to mm -hmm. float upwards. The moment it's touched, it just starts to float upwards. Like just going up and up and up and up? Just going up and up and up and up. And you notice that your mage hand is actually stuck to it as it keeps going up and up and up until so eventually it reaches out of your uh, your distance for it and it dissipates and then the stick just keeps going up and up and up. Well, what? ain't that something? Well, that's someone else's problem then. That's for the Roll bird. Knowledge Arcana, Greckles. 19. Okay, that was a trap. Um, oh, 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 fuck. 
it was obviously sort of defensive magic where whoever grabbed it would be stuck to it and it would begin to float upwards and if they were to let go of it they would they would fall essentially boy are we glad i can do that <clears throat> yeah buddy borky just goes yeah. borky makes the face of gee whoo don't touch money. magical artifacts mm -hmm. money real quick with that con loss does anything actually like physically happen or is it just like gone you feel it's gone like you and Haas were both sacrificed to, to revive the kids. Right. Through so, essentially what is, you don't know what type of ceremony, but. All right, so right now, just so we are clear, I'm going from 11 to 10. Okay, yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> just want to make sure yeah, that was no, clear. You don't lose your modifier. You just, you just yeah, you, you yeah. lose an actual stat. Um, Lee is kind of like, he's not terrified. He's just really confused. And Hasrod kind of leans back on the on the cart as you guys are beginning to move once again through the uh, through the forest. And Hasrod kind of kind of turns, and he goes, "Look, I uh, uh, you I'm bad. I'm, I'm I'm bad. I'm bad with the 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 emotional the emotional thing." Mm -hmm. I used to be a, uh, a priest of sorts. My Task brother and I. Bad. Sorry, continue. Continue. This is Hosford, as you look at Hosford, Hosford kind of like narrow eyes looks back. We, uh, we did a lot of uh, human sacrificing. And like the kids look up horrified. He goes, sorry. Uh, but yeah, we did a lot of human sacrificing to a snake god, and, uh, my sister became the high priestess, wanted to summon that god into the material plane, and to do that would need to sacrifice all the priests. So my brother and I, well, we didn't like that so much. And you said nah to that. Yeah, we kind of left, so that was the only thing I had left of her. You're welcome, kid. And Lee is just like shakily thumbs up, confused looking. For what it may or may not be worth, Hosrod, you did the right thing. Ugh, don't say that. Ugh. Would you, Ugh, rather, say you, did, would you rather I say you did the wrong thing? Yes! I'm All right, Hosrod, you did the wrong thing. Oh, thank you. I feel so much better about myself. Also, I've, I've never seen someone do something so wrong in my life. Tass does not respond to anything. He just looks He looks in front of him with his, like, hands to his mouth, kind of like Ikari posing at this whole entire, like, discussion. Eventually, you guys make your way past uh, the tree. And as you make your way past the tree that, uh, that had fallen, the stump, where the tree used to be attached, there's now a sprout coming out of it. Oh. And you notice, as you look up, a, a shadow disappear into another tree. Appears to be another nymph. Hey, wait, 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 wait! I'm calling out to it, I don't care. Do you speak, do you speak Sylvan? No, but I figured I might as well try. <laughs> like, I'm, 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 I'm getting up and waving arms at it. It, it went into a tree, so you're currently waving your arms at a tree. God damn it. <laughs> Do you speak Elven? Nope. Let me double check. It's I'm a gutter bird. I don't speak anything. <laughs> gutter bird. <laughs> gutter bird. Uh, yeah, no. It, uh, Meryl kind of looks up to you. Dracos goes, sorry, they're a bit shy. That's all right. Hasrad, Mr. Hasrad. Hasrad kind of turns, like he's got that look in his face, like what? What are you gonna say? Say it. She kind of looks at us. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the first time I revived someone. No, thanks for coming. Yeah. The part where I fell into the snow was was great. It was perfect. It's just what I wanted to do, spending my afternoon. You guys. Got food out of it. I did. You did fulfill that promise, so ta 10. There you go. There you go. Let's get home. I'm cold. And Will for the sake of- I are gonna have words. Me? 
Yes, you. You and I Why? are the words. The words can come out right now. I suppose it do it could before we enter the city. I want to know more about that necromancy you just pulled. No, you don't. Besides, you can't learn it. People of our race are born with it. Hmm. Even if I can't, it's something I still want to know, even if I have no magical means of possessing it. Let me, let me, let me destroy this dream super fast. Who are you trying to revive? I'm not trying to revive anyone. Okay. Trust me, it's not worth what it takes away. It never is. You know that kid might be awesome. Yeah. I just <laughs> want at least just like yeah. Yeah. Tash, Tash just looks forward. I don't want to return someone. I just want to know what my sister was in. I wish to know what my sister had her hand in magically. Yeah. Well, I'm not your sister. So, sorry. Well, well, cold no shit. Snakes, most lizards. Your cousins, if anything. Distant relatives, perhaps, but I haven't looked you, into it. You meet up at, like, once a year, and you're like, oh, what's neat? What's going on with you? Awkward, this is awkward silence in the back of the cart. Not much. How are the kids? That's great. But Lucy kind of just goes, I had fun. And, like, Sam, like, snacks her, like, what? Greggles is actually going to try to look around his body to see if there was any, sort of, like, permanent damage to him. Hmm. Besides where your feathers are plucked out for the actual ceremony itself, you're good. Your bones okay. are more hollow. Your bones, your your bones are. You feel you feel a little the bit hollow. Lighter. Earth theory is now even more intense. Taka, Taka, why would why would why would he have hollow bones? He doesn't fly. Because all birds have hollow bones, and you're a bird. I'm half bird. How are you <laughs> half bird? You're like full bird. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Te technically, they used to be like real. Birds, so I know it makes sense. Hollower bones. <laughs> Hollower, <laughs> Hollower bones. Eventually, you guys make your way back through the the uh, the the, um, the farmland, and eventually, Meryl does drop you guys off in front of the city. Mm -hmm. um, as you guys get off, Meryl actually kind of grabs uh, grabs Greckles, grabs your hand, and she goes, "Oh, don't tell our parents about this, please." Kid, you have no idea how many secrets I have under my hood. Everyone? She looks to Borky and she looks to Taz. Please. Okay. Tash just, w Tash just waves his hand, like, in agreeance, but still doesn't, like, let up in the stare. He's, like, not, he's, like, half-handedly just, like, waving, like, yeah, yeah, we promise, but he's not looking. She nods. She looks to you, Borky. Borky does, Borky. A, th Borky does a thumbs up. Borky kind of does that, like, thumbs up or thumbs down. And does up. Thanks. All the kids look relieved. They're just like, whew, not getting into trouble today. At least not with the parents. Um, I'll see you guys at work. I heard you hired a new um, servant maid. Yeah, you're going to love her. Really? Yeah. Well, that's great. I thought it was going to be replaced. No. No, if you died, <laughs> then maybe. Bort! Key. What? Let's. <laughs> what? He Meryl actually like... starts to laugh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing well, in the not... face of danger. Hey, it's not the first time. No, it's not. And that's why I'm scared for you. You're getting accustomed to it. Something a child shouldn't need to be. Well. If it's Elmer here, I do prefer here. Because you guys I'll are I'll remember that. I'll, yeah, Tasha just looks at her. I'll remember that statement. Hmm. Alrighty. Bye. And she snaps the reins and the horse <laughs> takes off the wagon. And the kids go, bye. And Lee, Lee kind of stands up with both arms and says, thanks, Mr. Hossrod. And Hossrod's like, <sighs> like kind of like flinches away. I look, Children. You did the reverse Ugh. of a human sacrifice. You brought one back. Uh. <laughs> uh, Borky chuckles. We'll see. we'll see how I get punished for that one. 
Oh, we're not going to do anything. Not uh, you. Oh. Someone else. By the way, before we go in town, I didn't want to say it around the kids. It's the second hag I've killed. Awesome, I know. Number two, I feel the blame because I killed that first hag. She came back for me. The third, and Borky pulls open the bag. Borky pulls up, pulls up this bag. I found this bag beside her. And there's something inside. And I want Willow to look at it, but I ain't bringing in something magical without telling you about it. Borky we should, Borky we should it honest. Up. Borky opens it up a little bit. Okay. And, you see, and you see the eye? Is the eye in there still? There is an ice cube with an empty socket in the center where an eye used to be. Okay, so there was an eye that looked at me? Borky, just, just throw it out. And while you're at it, get rid of the cup. Actually, that's what I want to talk to her about. The thing is, that was a warning. She could have gotten the drop on us and blasted us with something. Before we even noticed. But we heard her giggling on the cup like a warning. Then we give it to the druid fish. I'm giving this too, the bag with the ice, ice cube. I'm giving this to her too, in case. Okay? We should be smart about this. Because what I think it is. Well, Borky knows what a coven is, right? Roll roll a knowledge arcana check. Okay. Borky's gonna roll a knowledge arcana check. That's a three. You have you have no idea, but you do remember that when you when you when you suplexed the first hag, um, and you guys did do a, I think, who did it? Someone did a, I think it was you actually, Task. You did a, a primeval awareness or something along those lines. You, yes. you were able to determine that there were three hags. One that was suplexed and then two other ones that you guys never saw. So we have, we have one left, we have one left with us that has an, an ax to burn, uh, uh, an ax to grind. Yeah, for what it's worth, we're never leaving town with, with any civilians. Again, for a while at least, unless there's lots of us, because, damn it. We just, we just don't enter forests then without protection against hags. Evidently. I'm going to kill, I'm gonna, is... I'm gonna kill that third hag, though. Oh, yes, siree. Whole coven, dead. By my don't hang. have me. I don't want to be involved with this. Oh my no, God. I don't. I don't want you involved with the hag situation. What I want to know is, I don't want to know what your, I don't want to know what your god entails. But how will this come back to bite you? My sister now knows where I am. Don't worry about it. It's my burden to bear. Plus, it's really far away, so eh, maybe I have three more years here, give or take, and I gotta move on. But hey, kids alive! Yay! Yay! <laughs> and you know what? For all it's worth, that was really fun. Yeah, <laughs> he throws up a little bit on the ground. <laughs> We'll be right back. <laughs> and with that, Whack. we will end the session there. Whack. <laughs> All righty. I am right. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. I'm so Bye, sorry. Austin. This will be in two parts. Bye, Austin. Oh, my hey. goodness. That, oh, stop. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> 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 we'll be, have you seen the we'll be right back meme? I, I think so. Is that like a isn't that a Simpsons thing or something? No, it's the Eric Andre show. The Eric Andre oh, show. Oh no, I haven't then. <laughs> kind of. Oh boy. There's oh. so many, show you that. There's so many ideas. Gaijin, I'm so sorry. Let's not talk about it. I'm oh, okay. I need, I, need, I, need, I need to ask. I didn't want to ask you the session. Is that is that like a stasis spell like that? Is that not a concentration yes. spell? No. That it, that whole person hold, is not. Hold person is fucking brutal. It's Hold, brutal. Oh, it's so it's not a concentration spell. Okay. No. But you get a save on every round. But obviously, like poor poor Gaijin was rolling super low. So Just, again, ooh. let's not talk about it. Not a bad idea, Connor. Oh my god, thunder incoming! Thunder incoming! Incoming! 
we should probably go ahead and wrap this up if you want to get the last couple of bit drops in. Oh my gosh, like this is this. Also, we have to announce what we're doing next week as well. We, we do, real fast. I'd like to do a couple of shout outs for some amazing bit drops we had here. Uh, plus, <laughs> Monkey, thank you for the 500 bits. I saw someone say it earlier, but Slay Ride, S L A Y, was a good title. Uh, That's, I like that. Fury and Melloc, thank you for the 144 bits. That Scruffy Guy, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Pocket Snakes. <laughs> And scared crows. <laughs> uh, Mill and Ninja, 100 bits. He got oh. he, he got voodoo. He got juju. He got things you never even tried. Hasra got friends on the other side. Bum, 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 bum. Are you ready? Alcoholic, thank you for the 513 sub. Happy fifth month. Didn't expect the kid freeze. It doesn't indicate that this whole person is concentration. It doesn't say on the card. Tigger11107, thank you for the 900, 979 bits. Just got home from work and sadly too exhausted to stay up. Much love from all my bits. Catch you in the archives. Thank you so much, dude. Poopas, I'm going to leave the 900 bits. Borky the Hag Slayer. Yeah, he's two for three right now. Uh, Natural20, thank you for the 125 bit. Hey, can I get a happy birthday? And Taka, put Fritz Base on YouTube, please. Uh, I don't want to bog down my YouTube channel with another upload, dude, but happy birthday, Natural 20. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Hey, thank you so much. And thank you, 150, 1,500 bits from Legion Bunny. Le Legion Bunny. It's been one year oh since Oh my episode. god. Wait, did her other spells have concentration? I might have actually really fucked up, guy. It doesn't matter. It doesn't say on the cards. I was looking at the cards. So, let me, I think Ice Storm is concentration as well. I think I messed that up. I am very sorry. Uh, nope, that's instantaneous. And then, okay, so you might have been good. One second. Let me just double check here. It, it really doesn't matter. It's already over. Oh, cone of cold. I just want to double check because it feel bad. Uh, she should have been rolling saves, though. But her constitution is pretty high. Sorry. We keep going. Sorry. All right, no worries. Uh, da David Zedoff, thank you for the 500 bits and change. PM Ghost, thank you for the 500 bits. Well, now both Stanley and Walt Disney are cryogenically frozen. Ha ha! SF Ooh. Cody, thank you for the three month resub. I I Icarus Dark Fang, thank you for the 500 bits. Haven't been, haven't been live in a long time. Have some bits. Wish I could afford more because you guys are great. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, Probate, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Baba Yaga, have you any spells? <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, her. She sure sells. For future reference, that's uh, as Connor says. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be 500 bits. Monty, are you using my luck for evil? <laughs> uh, early uh, she never casted another concentration spell, but she did get hit with damage, so there was a chance that she should have rolled concentration. That's checks. actually that's why I ran up and swung her. I just wasn't going to challenge you on the rules in the middle of the session. I didn't. Want no, to... I honestly, I will say this, and I feel bad. The rules would have determined it. She does have a decent constitution mod. Okay. Um, All right, just for the future. So for, for, future for the future, I'm really sorry. I thought the cards would actually state that, which is why I was looking. And I didn't see concentration on there, so that was my bad. Okay. Sorry, Gaijin. I feel like that's my fault. Um, but th uh, the Ruby, thank you again. Uh, earliest bread for the 500 bits. Swift Rage. Suplexity to the suplexing. Uh, NX Demon, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Another Skull Goblet. Oh, if only. If only. Hepatitis D, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Strong name. Uh, Ed765, 1,000 bits. Cheer. Uh, Fury and Malak, thank you for the 300 bits. Good job, Borky. Pet Assassin, tell him to eat a dick. 1,000 bits. And lovely L'Oreal. It's a snowball fight, thank you for 150 bits. Frost Jacob, thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, Aaron Wolf, thank you for the 100 bits. And yeah, okay, thank you so much. Probate Task Pulse's hamstring, 1,000 bits. Thank you. Bloodthorn Blade, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Only able to oh watch you guys live for the first God. time since February because me, dad, my dad's in the hospital and didn't have to go to work because of it. And he sent me home, and I didn't have to be in the hospital and see him like that. Well, Someone had an episode title that's pretty good. A Deadly Encounter. Dead and then Lee, the name. A Deadly Encounter. Well, that's spoiler for the for the people who haven't like, Hi, I'm Lee! Right. That kid's fucking dead. The second uh, just... uh, Gaijin and Zito have to go because Zito's got to get... Uh, guys just gotta get Zito home. Okay. So, you guys. Um, oh, you guys heading out? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll just announce really quick what we're doing next week, really fast, Absolutely. because I, Gaijin's in it too. So, because Zito, you're away. Yep. Uh, um, Gaijin, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right. So next week we're not actually having an Unexpectables episode. Um, I uh, because we're missing we're missing Zito. Um, so our our good old friend Edward Bosco. 
uh, is actually going to run a one-off uh, for uh, Gaijin, Taka, Snake, and uh, myself, actually. I get to play. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we'll hear something about that. It's a completely, it's it's Bosco's kind of original world that he's played in, it sounds like. And yeah, yeah. yeah. So that would be, that's Remy, for those who don't know. Uh, yeah, Remy's running the game. Remy is going to be uh, DMing for a one-off. Monty will be a player joined by myself, Goomba, and good old Connor. And also give Monty a chance to prep some other stuff. So, yes, you get to see yeah. Monty as a player, guys, next week. So definitely don't miss that. Uh, mm -hmm. This was a fantastic session, by the way. I was genuinely nervous for the kids. Uh, okay, Blay McDo, thank you for the 1,000 bits, dude. Greatly appreciate it. And Ajima, thank you, for the thank, thank you for the bits. Uh, Ajimo as well. Uh, Toku Nerd as well. Great show tonight, folks. No haghead. Oh, well. I mean, only so much you can do. Poop us a monkey. As I said earlier, Slay Ride was a good title. Uh, and mm -hmm. talk about the 500 bits. Monty gets to play! Exclamation uh, mark. Gaijin, Zito, you guys need to go, so don't be yeah. afraid to, yeah. to head right. out. Yeah. I'll right. catch you guys yeah. later. All right, guys, yeah. don't, forget to hey, don't, forget, don't forget to check out Gaijin Goomba over at Gaijin Goomba on Twitch. And on Twitter as well, guys. Goomba's working on some new streaming content, so definitely, guys, give him a give him a shot. I host him for that reason. Uh, and also, don't forget to check out uh, at CZ Backlash on Twitter and at Zito uh, and Z Zito here on Twitch as well. But uh, we can uh, give him some more information about this. Yeah, it'll be regular time next week. It'll be a one. It'll be a one off. Super mm -hmm. jazzed. I'm super jazzed for this. Uh, I'm actually excited to be a player with Unity. Yeah. It'll be it'll be fun. First time you and me have ever played in a campaign together. Oh, I feel really bad about that concentration. I didn't thing. want to. Here's the thing. I didn't. I, want hate, to... I hate spells with concentration because I always forget about them. I didn't want to challenge so... you on it in the middle of the session because that's why I thought if I hit her, it would next stop. time do. Next time do. Don't be afraid to bring up stuff like that. Like that's fine. Like uh, I just don't. I, I, I just. I, all right. Just, next. Just do. Just do. Next time do it. Because Absolutely. The, the chat with the chat was mentioning it a fair about. So. Was it? Then, then mention it to me. That something like that. Mm, if please. it's if it's if it's a hindrance to the players, I want to know because I don't want okay. the players hindered because okay. of my mistake. That's okay. not fair. Yeah. So. Let her know the yeah. C on the card is for concentration. Little boy Wimpy says. There's a C. I don't see. Where's the C? There is no C. I don't see a C. Always ask again. Let tell Monty it's okay. Hag was just on a A game that day. Yeah. True. Yeah. She was pissed at you. But still, I need to be on top of it. I don't see any C cards. I, 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 I or there's like, like the number C on it. Number C. There's no number C. There, the cards I don't think have them. I could unless they're on the back. It's in that on case. a diamond, he says. On a diamond. There's no diamond on it. I uh, guess it's just. I mean, she may have old cards. Okay. Uh. Anyway. All right. Well. All right, so no, yeah, next... no, 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 no worries. All right, guys, everyone, thank you so much uh, for the bits you submitted, guys. We will see you next week. Monty, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on, on Twitter, and you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue on Twitch. We're going to try and figure out a good name for this episode. We had some good suggestions, but we'll discuss that. Uh, uh, I think we'll discuss that in private, though, guys. But, guys, thank you so much. If you like this, choke slam that follow button or RK out of nowhere that sub button, guys. Uh, Citra King's actually working on some art for this upcoming new uh, one-off. We'll see. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's, he says it's a one-off, but it's built to be more, possibly. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. That's what he said. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. Because he has fun doing this. But this is a world that he actually developed a long time ago that he had another He's campaign. also played in it. He, it was like a, yeah. like a, it's like a setting almost. Yeah, so. you know, this was a campaign. He, he, this was a setting he was, he was fully engrossed in. So he's now going to be a DM of, a, of another story in this world. So you get to see what's a lot of time has been spent on. But guys, uh, I'll talk to you all later. And we will see you next week at 7 o'clock PST, 10 o'clock EST, 9 o'clock CST. See you guys later. Bye. Bye-bye. Don't forget there's other streams too. Bye!